Hello, Space Bros. What's going on, guys? We're just getting this thing started. It is not the Space Bro holiday stream, but we're just going to extend it and say that anyway, because I'm lazy. And I don't like to change titles. So, guys, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here tonight How with would you, uh, uh, a couple of our guests right now, oh, and Roo Smash, who's awesomely talkative, and we're going to expand on that all night long because she's going to carry the show <laughs> through for us. And so we have our guest, Roo Smash, and the Moonshiners here. Welcome, guys. What's up, guys? Hello. See? <laughs> Yep, I saw her talking. I totally did that on purpose. I was like, oh, we're just oh, going to dump the whole show right in her lap right now. It's like, all right, go, Ruth. Anyway, so. I will chat the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. We It is a talk show, so the talking is required. That's the way it goes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so for those of you who um, haven't met Rue, um, she is super awesome. Sometimes you'll see her also co streaming with the Grimlock and uh, his wife, Koo. And all that stuff. I I think I first saw you do the uh, Rue and Koo show, basically, is what you're... The Rue and Koo show, <laughs> yeah. yes. You were advertising it as. And I I don't know why, but I watched you over half the night fly around. <laughs> and, and you guys just have a good chemistry. It's it's good. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's really great. Yeah, I've tried, to, I've tried to host you and pick you up whenever I can when you're on at night after that. Because you guys are some of the, the better uh, female streamers that I watch. I'm very picky about my Aww. female streamers, you know? Oh, Pretty you. picky. Don't give me that look, man. <laughs> I was going to say, you watch me. You, you, you I'm come, pretty you picky. You come to my chat all the time. You're always there. Yeah, so, there's some, I'm, something I figured I'm out probably I early on, I guess. Started. I don't know. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so you – um, what got you – um into star citizen we're gonna go we're gonna go through this real quick because we're gonna put her on the spot oh wow okay um what coming to star citizen um so some may know some may not know uh grimlock and i actually work together and um i've been a gamer um you know i was gaming like classic games since i was probably like eight years old and you know i didn't have a you know, a powerful enough stream or a computer to even like play Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. And it was actually, I have to give credit to Grimlock because he was the one who got me into Star Citizen. He talked about it all the time. Ever since I've met him, he's always been talking about this space sim. Like, and I'm like, I get it. Like, it's cool, man. Like, I get it. You know, yeah, and finally when I got my... and stuff. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I get it. Like, that's really cool. But I'm gaming off of a laptop right now. Like, mm. there's no way I could even get that game. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually eventually uh, bought his old gaming PC because he was in the middle of um, basically building a new one. And so um, I bought it off him. I got it set up. And um, so then once I was familiar with this whole space sim of Star Citizen, as they called it, um, he was like, Rue, you have to start playing this game. And I was like, okay. And... Um, I guess there was kind of like a bet that went on between when he started streaming and a couple of friends. I ended up winning a game package. That's what was the deal was. Like if I got the game package, I would have to start streaming and playing yeah. Star Citizen. And um, and I have who, to say, like, just every real quick, single... who do you win the game package from? I'm just curious. It was actually Blinkies. Was it Blinkies? Okay. It was I was going to say, if and it was me, then you would I would have held that over your head for, like, the whole future. Know. That just would have been the way it worked. But. <laughs> I know, that actually would have been, like, cherry on top. Yeah, exactly. But, um, no, it was Blinkies. And, um, and literally, like, I had heard so much about this game, like, beforehand. Like, I've known Grimm for probably, like, four or five years of my life, and he would never shut up about this game. Like, it was always like, oh, my God, Rue, they just released a new patch. you got to come check this out. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I, like, stand over his computer and, like, watch it. I'm like, that's really fucking cool. But, like, I can't even play it. So, like, it yeah. didn't have an interest of mine until I actually got a computer that was, like, I could game off of it. And it was, like, oh, my God. I, he actually, for my birthday, um, a couple of him and a couple of uh, the followers um, bought me two of Flight 6, uh, the Thrustmasters. Okay. And, and so now I have two of those. And I'm just, like... Man. 
ever since then, I've just been like, this game is like so amazing. Like, I cannot stop playing so, so it. So, do you like, think when he um, first showed you the game, he was just trying to make you jelly and, and show you like what he had and you couldn't? I think so. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, you know what? Now you can go back to him and say, you know what? I was on the Space Bro show before you ever got to be a Grim. So you were first. <laughs> and now, because he's been dying to come on here and we never link up, but next week he'll be on. But now yes, you beat him to that. True, so. yeah. That's go. awesome. Yeah. He's fantastic. He actually knows mm -hmm. a lot about the game. And um, yeah, he he's definitely, you know, show me the ropes on um, just purchasing a ship sometimes, which we could probably get into later. But man, yeah. that complicates me. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? And yeah, just I think it right confuses it. a like... lot of people, a lot of people. <laughs> so, but let's also yeah. say hi to Moonshiners, of course. How are you, you doing, Moon? Good to have you back on the show. Yeah, it is good to be back. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's wondering, like, who's the blonde? Uh, it's me. It's Moonshiner. It is. And, uh, no, I didn't lose a bet. Uh, if the bet mm -hmm. was like, oh, you have to like transition to being a woman for the rest of your life, that was like, that's like some bet you really shouldn't take. But yeah, uh, yeah. I, What's I up, wish guys? I would have made that bet with you because that would <laughs> that would be like I won the king of all bets for ever. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, yeah but definitely, it's great to have you on here, and yeah. I've I've loved the outpouring support and everything I've seen from the mm -hmm. community. Absolutely. But, uh, but yeah, but definitely, we're going to be addressing a little bit more of that towards the uh, middle of the show. So if you guys have any questions throughout the broadcast, we're going to try to review some Star Citizen stuff. Obviously, there hasn't been yeah. a lot of content out this week. You know, it's been we're coming off the holiday. Though. Yeah, 2.6 mm. amazing. We're going to go into that. But not not a lot else we're going to see other than where we're riding, and we're going to get some opinions of, of these guys uh, and just kind of keep moving forward through that. So, again, questions, you can just do explanation mark questions, plural, in chat, and uh, that will link into our questions thing, and we'll start addressing those uh, probably sooner than later because we don't have a ton of content, but we got a little bit of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Cool. So, all right. Let's dive into it here. Let's see what we got. See if I set any of this stuff up right, because I'll probably break everything like normal. But that's okay. We're used to it. Space Bros recover every time. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> All right. So straight from the Sandy's Twatter. Yes. For that one to come back. And this right here is the extra large mouse pad right here okay. that they're showing. Mm -hmm. And um and oddly enough, I love the joystick choice up there in the corner because yes. that is the only joystick I own that I've owned for over 20 years, which is every every joystick user calls a piece of crap. It's a yes. Logitech 3D Extreme Pro. Uh, it's like you can get it for like $15 from anywhere. And apparently, you know, yeah. I this, this just goes, and not to rip on Sandy or anybody, but let's just go ahead and say this just goes with that whole detachment of like how you relate Hold to on. gamers who makes it that's a logitech right yeah is that is that the new star citizen like joystick is this is this like confirmation <laughs> oh my god, oh, like, shit. Oh my god. logitech <laughs> what scitech well, scitech had this like plan with us well the it's, problem it's, with that idea is the fact that oh here's god. here's the main thing i think oh hilarious god. now now this is this is a what this is a, a mouse pad <laughs> There's no mouse mm -hmm. anywhere to be seen, mm -hmm. just a joystick. And I, I get mm -hmm. kind of why, but it's just funny to me. It's just a detachment again. It's like, it's hey, really the joystick. This, the cheapest joystick we ever made, we can put right here beside this. Oh, Log Logitech's going to put a Star Citizen sticker on it. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> yep. The new Star Citizen mm -hmm. joystick. We're going to start that oh, one right no. now. I'm going to tweet this out. Logitech's the worst, worst sticks in the world. And this is what now? Like, yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Turn it up there. They make the best keyboard and mice too. I love their mice and keyboards, but their mm -hmm. their flight stick they haven't changed in two decades. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah. it is a beautiful mouse pad. Um, I'll probably never buy it. What do you guys think about it? About the mouse Hold pad on. and stuff. So, that's actually isn't that. What's the name? Oh God, what's what's the name of the city? Is this what 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 city oh, is that? That's right the. There? Oh, I had it, and if I moved you know how you've there. seen you've seen mm -hmm. that city on the three D model that they've um, that they've shown to people. Mm -hmm. Oh God, yeah. I, I just is I that microtech. Um, it's that looks like microtech. I think I think he's right. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, they like said on the tweet. Yeah, microtech. And I pulled it. Oh off Terra, no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, new new Terra mouse mm -hmm. pad. That looks like the cityscape that they released like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That you could kind of like use like a 3D modeler. Um, yep. Yeah, to it's new like Terra mouse through. bed. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That's Terra. Yep. Okay. Terra Prime. 
It's been... It looks I cool, it but I rather mm -hmm. have I rather have an ultra wide poster of that, for the simple fact mm -hmm. that, oh yeah, that if you look at my desk pad, um, I can't see it because I got keyboard and mouse and everything on top of it, so it's kind of like putting too right? beautiful of pictures kind of eliminates the whole purpose of it. But it is mm -hmm. cool. It'd be a good collector's item, good giveaway for people, right? But yeah, I'd um, I don't know. This doesn't. I wouldn't uh, want to put my keyboard over it. Yeah. I mean, like, it's too beautiful. <laughs> so you yeah, hang your mouse up. pad on the wall. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. It really oh, yeah. is. It's really it nice. It is. I, I, why don't they have more merchandise that's just like mm. posters like this? I'm serious. You know, I, I, yep. those Dragonfly posters mm -hmm. they had limited runs of, they never reissued again. I would buy stuff like that all day. And all they, day. And they yeah. never, never do it. I don't know. Sandy, if you're listening I, at any point in time, first, I'm sorry. Because everything I've ever said that you probably are mad about. But secondly, <laughs> secondly, um, if you want some marketing tips, you guys have beautiful artists and beautiful art. Pit it on more shit and I'll buy it. For real. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I mean, why not? Even like the posters that you can get in your um, hanger. Yeah. Like, I would love to right. hang that behind me. Mm -hmm. Like, well, yeah. You know, they finally listened to us about the that. shirt, right? The Polaris shirt, because it was yeah. a thing in game when the Polaris came out, and they were like, "Oh, look, it's just a Polaris shirt." And then they're like, "Oh, we made a prototype for Chris." I'm like, everybody's like, "We'll buy that, please, God, right. make it." Yeah. And then they're like, like "Give made us it. that." <laughs> yeah, and then they like sold out of them like instantly, and they're like, "Oh, they did." Yeah, yeah. except except for the super small, I think they still think all of his gamers are like this big around and like, like extra yeah, small. Yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> Most no. of us are not. Most of us are not. All right. What else did we have? We had a couple more Twitter picks. We're going back a little bit, and this is something you guys were talking about before the show. Uh, they're working on the range of motion of the characters. Yep. So, yep. And specifically... For the female character model? Yep. It looks like female character model. Um, I think the pink shoes gave it off for me. That's what it was. It was pink shoes. It was. <laughs> it was. Mm -hmm. No. But, but that's Actually, cool. I'm not a... I'm not a huge fan of pink, but when I saw that, I was like, female character. Don't let my daughter hear that. My God, she'll be like ruse off the watch list for it, sure. It, 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 is like a little, it is like a little bit on the nose, like the pink gloves and the boots. I'm sure that's just a motion thing. I was just joking. Probably. I don't think they're going to be pink, actually, in the thing. Just any more that it's going to be checkered. Right. It's all just mm -hmm. like to identify different assets on it. So mm -hmm. I doubt it'll yep. be hot pink. But... Uh, because that would be the ugliest jumpsuit. They got with gloves the orange to match, patch though. And, like pink gloves and pink shoes. Chris Roberts yeah. would fit. It's like, you yeah. said it was good. We just went in the game like that. You said it looked good. I was talking about the range of motion, not the color scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but absolutely. Um, it's it's cool that they're working on the female character model. Uh, mm -hmm. Honest to God, as much as I support the fact that I know. Oh, you guys really want it in the game? And I would like to see it for some diversity in the game at all. Like, you right. know, anything. Because like a thousand clones myself, I think we get a little sadistic killing ourselves over and over in the game. Yeah. It's kind of weird because everybody <laughs> looks identical. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about it. I just want it in. Like, why? you know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. it seems like it's taken a long time to do this. I don't know. Because it seems like even eight months ago, they, oh, we got it licked. We're good. And now they're yep. still... I don't know. Well, maybe like they're, I guess like because they're gonna have to like create all the like different clothing. Different armor they had, set. Like, they had like hundreds of clothing sets mm -hmm. like a year ago for yeah. the male. So like now they have to do that for this. And you can't for, just, for well, you can't just throw well the male like, clothes on the female either, though. You know, it wouldn't wouldn't be. Mm. Right. Women are complicated. All right, mm. that's just that's just yeah. their nature. I think I think the only thing they could do that would be really bad is if they did the typical like anime female battle armor stuff. You know, it's like you got the yeah. the battle armor bra with the with the bikini bottoms and that's it. But but no, they, they already said they're not going to do that. I I thought they had prototypes of that. They showed us at uh, Sitcon though, didn't they? Didn't we see a couple screenshots that kind of went through and we saw some like females in some of there the was. battle armor and stuff. And there was. I, um... I feel like maybe they're just trying to perfect that part because it's going to be like, they probably don't want to touch it much again after that. Like yeah, right. the male model came out. Right. And it's like, they haven't really had to tweak that very much. I mean, who knows how long they've been working on just that. 
<laughs> and then the female, like like I said, we're very complicated. I know. Human I, love, beings. I love. I mm-hmm. love. Uh, usually, don't call a chat. But I got called Kamikaze. He says, "Confirmed, women are are delaying Star Citizen again." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like hurry up, get your hair done. I'm sorry. It's like how bad? How bad is that? We're sorry. Um, okay. Like we just want to make sure our hair is good. God. Yeah. Yeah. Give us time <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I I bet twenty dollars that Sandy's like hovered over this. Like, really? Is that what you're going with? And they're like, Oh, we gotta redo it again. <laughs> and it's like it's not quite there yet. So, but yeah, yeah. but but yeah, I I just want to see it implemented. But I'm not happy with just female character models. I would like to see some diversity, like some changes in height on people, uh, mm-hmm. some different skin tones. I mean, are is this gonna be like an eight month iteration so we can get? Like different varying people, <laughs> like you know, it's like, are we gonna have so that's like, the, like that's what I'm mm-hmm. kind of thinking. Is like mm-hmm. when they release the female model, are they also going to release like the customization of characters? Because I feel like once that happens, you're gonna customize to a female, and you're gonna be able to customize hair color, skin color, mm-hmm. eye color, or whatever mm-hmm. else they have for us. I hope it they might have just that all ready. get released at the time. Yeah. And and that's what I feel like. If they don't have that tech ready, that's going to scream why Squadron Forty Two is not even going to be close too, because that you're supposed to see that customization first in that game. I mean, yeah. all that has to be like implemented into the game eventually, yeah. right? Because like mm-hmm. this is going to be like a living, breathing universe. We can't all be the same clones. I mean, it's understandable that, again that like at this at this part of the game, mm-hmm. sure we get yeah. it. Like you're you're developing the game, and there's so much more to go. Like there are miles to go, so like it's okay. I understand that like they're slowly like making their way, but eventually, you know, yeah, sure, they have to account for like everything, you know, hair colors and you know, skin tones. I don't know if they'll do anything with like body types. You feel like yeah. they'll ever be just stuck with the body type? I don't think they'll be able to go full body mesh. types because they already said they mm-hmm. can't do like a fat guy. So I'm screwed mm-hmm. in that because it can't fit in the cockpits. They already said that, and that just like mm-hmm. even they even mentioned. When the game goes live, if you wear a heavy armor set, you might not be able to pilot certain vehicles just because it does it'll clip, it doesn't work. But I like that as a game mechanic limitation. I mean, if you're in full decked out armor, you're probably not gonna be in a highly nimble fighter craft. You're probably gonna be in the troop transport in the back moving in that way. So I like those yeah. aspects of it, but I don't know. It leaves every time I see something regarding the female character model and how long this iteration is taking kind of makes me concerned about the diversity of not just male to female, but of just different archetypes and, and frames and stuff in the verse. Because in most games, it's just an asset tie-in, so you can have different hair color, different types of, you know, scars and stuff like that. I mean, right. I assume that's that's pretty just whatever done, but I wouldn't think the female character model would take this long either. But mm-hmm. I know they just want to get I mean, it right, but good Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if it was just adding, like, boobs and ass like it probably wouldn't take that long but no, it's but obvious wanna, yeah. that like they're trying to add in a bunch of you know like chris roberts famous words fidelity yeah. to the parts of a female model on top of customizing your character i just feel yeah. like the customization of a character is going to come into play that because yeah picking between mm-hmm. a gender of who you want to play yeah. um there's obvious reasons of why you would pick like a female character over a male character there's going to be things that you'll want to see in that and that's what they're trying to perfect it's not just mm-hmm. having the form of a female as a character it's more yeah. than that yeah yeah absolutely well it's easier for a um a person to express themselves in the game and have the if they want especially an rp role or anything and relate to the character because you want people you want players to care about their character right and the more you can yeah. relate to your character what regards to what it looks or feels like is is more important because then you're not going to want to just throw it off cliff or just run into a side of space station or anything else because you know permadeath you care your about it it's your identity yeah. yep you spent two hours four hours yep. creating your character like that's you you spend hours doing that mm-hmm. to make it look like how you you know and, either and exactly it blows my mind like even in eve online we used to spend hours making our character in there and you never oh, see man. them they're in a spaceship <laughs> all it is is the yeah. little square profile box up here so it's like doing your glamour shot it's like <laughs> however you want it because that's every time you talk to somebody that's the little avatar that comes up and that's what they think of when they see you there right yeah because unlike true. streamers they see us like on camera here all the time but when you're just a player in a game oh. that's who you are to them so no one gives a shit right yeah exactly they're just gonna <laughs> care about that character 
So yeah, exactly. All right, so I gotta zoom out on this one. Awesome. <laughs> this one happened a little while longer, and we've already had a discussion a couple times on my, some of my regular broadcast about the Cutlass, but I want to bring it up again, get some of your guys' uh, perspectives on this. One of the things that we've constantly discussed is um, I was of the mind originally how much bigger this looks than the regular Cutlass, because they put a dude in there for scale, yeah. mm-hmm. and it is looks a lot bigger. Yeah. But I will say this before I get your guys' take on it. We zoomed out, and I did a side-by-side of me in the game zooming out on the Cutlass and me standing right about there. Relatively, it's about the same size. Yeah. It's just bulked out in all the areas, and I, it blew my mind because it it's, really looked huge compared to what I thought the Cutlass looks like right now. From what I heard, it is only 15% larger. Yeah. 15%. That's not much bigger. No. But what that actually mm. means is it's enough room to put the, you know, uh, the pilot and co-pilot seats next to each other, mm-hmm. so they're yeah. no longer front and back. The uh, the beds in the back have been moved up to the front cabin, so that if there's somebody sleeping there, and you're launching a dragonfly out, you don't just like kill the person sleeping. So, <laughs> That'd um, be hilarious. It's, it's it's just it's it's 15 percent larger, mm-hmm. but it just means like they they've it's really not that much bigger, but it's yeah. enough room. To uh, again get you know get two guys up in the front seat, um, yep. without the stupid and, and, chair and, and, moving and stuff cabin. that they do now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it gives the the turret slot um, a larger position for you. Right now, like you get into the turret, mm-hmm. and you feel like it's just like your head. It's like your yeah. upper body's up in there, and you're looking at this like little box, and you can hardly see. You you really have blinders on. Um, mm-hmm. This really does give you like a lot of different options. And you're right, it's really not that much bigger. Yeah. You look at the, you look at the character model, and again, but you're sitting there. It's got what one, two, three, four size three um, weapons, mm-hmm. and then the yeah. uh, it is, it is freaking sexy. Yeah, I got definitely. one of these. I got one of these on Saturday. Yeah, I had I had a guy um, or, or or girl. I um, I had Nano Q come into my stream, and Nano Q was like, "Hey, do you want a ship?" And they gave me, they gave me a ship. Uh, so like, I had an option. I went. I went and got a. We got a cutlass, because mm-hmm. of like what they're doing here. This thing is like. This thing is amazing. Yeah. Um, it's hella sexy. I, mm-hmm. I didn't think I was gonna like the cutlass, and mm-hmm. um, during the anniversary sale, I broke down and bought a cutlass. Like yeah. I don't know why, but I was like, you know what? No, it's sexy. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like. Yeah. It. I gotta have it. I didn't and, buy uh, one during anniversary, but I bought ten of them, uh, <laughs> and with with credit. <laughs> And then melted them just because right. I'm afraid they'll rack the price up on them when they do the remake. And I'm like, well, I'll be able to buy those back at the even hundred. That's, and we'll do giveaways and stuff. So I always buy extra and then melt them and then immediately buy my own shit back. So I have I extra hope, stuff. I kind of hope they don't do that, though. Like, they will. Really? Maybe. Not, maybe maybe not, it might they, not be they, severe, they, they though. They didn't do it to it, Constellation. They, it might not be severe, though. It might only be, like, traditionally, sometimes they only do 10 or $15. The biggest substantial one they did was a Star Fair, yeah. where they came out with the concept and then they went up almost what was it seventy five a hundred dollars on it from what right. they originally concepted. That was like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. The, the wow, like recognize like what they're doing here though. Mm-hmm. Like this is like, you look at the con- you look at the Cutlass right now, and you're like, okay, yeah. it is not pretty. The, the current con- the, the mm-hmm. current Cutlass is not it's not it's not that great. And it looks flimsy. It, it, the current it, one does. It it had to be it had to be like brought up to the same quality that mm-hmm. they're trying to like bring to everything else. So like like it came out uh, like the same time like the the original uh, constellation came out. The constellation like we all like loved, but then like as soon as like the new one dropped, you know, constellation two point oh, we were like, oh my god, it's like night and day difference. Yeah. And then the whole thing with with the uh, with the um, the hornet. Yep. The hornet hornet. You know, I mean even. It's not not, and I'm not talking about like the Mark II. The Mark II is an awesome ship, yeah. but the new mesh for the Hornet it brought up like it's again, it's just level of detail yeah. that you can't leave this like the first iteration of the Cutlass in game. No, it you is can't. not good. Because even even though I'm I'm a proponent of, I get tired of them redoing the ships. I do, mm-hmm. but when you look at the, some of the newer model stuff versus the old model stuff, it's not just about oh, this is a new version. It's it's like you're saying it's the mesh, it's the level of detail. You can tell, like 
there's it doesn't look as smooth. It doesn't look the same type of detail level. It'd be like trying to bring a game that's four years ago to a game that's like brand new present and have those same assets yeah. in the same game. And it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't look right side by side. So they are nope. keying all that in. And this one is definitely, even though it's not bigger in area it takes up, it is thicker and beefier than what the other one. And then it has some addition like the sliding doors on, on the sides of it and things like that that are going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm excited for this. I think it's going to be really, really good. Quick question. So, mm -hmm. you know how the the, the Hornet series mm -hmm. kind of got reworked? Yep. And by my understanding, there was um, a discussion with CIG about how they were going to keep the old look of the Super Hornet if yes. you wanted, like that vintage look. And by Ooh. my understanding, they have actually removed that part. So you're basically forced into this new look and feel of the Hornet. Like, yeah. do you, what, uh, do you guys own a, I don't actually own a Hornet, so it's not mm -hmm. much of a personal like throwback on me, but as people who own Hornets, like, mm -hmm. do you like the older one? Would you wish you would have kept it? Or are you thinking like, no, this newer one's much better. It's obvious that they needed that rework and you're happy with it. Yeah, I think the, the, the new one definitely needed to happen. I yeah. mean, the, again, if you looked at like some of like the old like uh, graphics on it and stuff like that, the um, like there was like th like fuel tank stuff for it, and it looked like it was a patch, like it mm -hmm. literally looked like it was just like you know it was like a decal they stickered on the decal. side of it. Yeah, it didn't have any yeah. depth to it on the old one. Okay, they, my they, thing they, is they need to do this. Yeah, yeah. The, my thing is I hated the Hornet. Mm -hmm. I, I literally <laughs> I, before yep. the new flight model, I did not like the Super Hornet. It was the bane of my existence. I thought it was overpowered and all that stuff, and I still do. But I enjoy flying it now. Under the new flight flight speeds and stuff, it's not like I used to love the Gladius and only the Gladius because I could flip around and do all the stuff. And I still can, but it feels like the agility of the Super Hornet and the Hornet models have come up, and I do enjoy flying them more now. So I have I have purchased and keeping a Super Hornet now. So it's a great ship. I like it under this mechanics. Old ones I did not. So that some of the mechanics have made them more endearing to me. But aesthetically, I think they're both. Beautifully ugly, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I think compared to the other ships, we have such slick looking, amazing ships, but performance wise, there's nothing out there that can really touch the Super Hornet and its weight class. It is so powerful a ship. Well, the Super, so it the Super Hornet still hasn't been touched yet. Like, they mm -hmm. still need to like redo the mesh on it. It was easy for them to do the, you know, the Ghost, the Tracker, yeah, um, the Wildfire. They were all the same character, all, all, mm -hmm. all the same ship mesh. Um, mm -hmm. So just like it was easy for it to like swap over. Yeah. Um, the Super Hornet. I mean, it's if they can make here. the Super Hornet look the way the new Ghost does, they will. The Ghost is the Ghost looks so sexy. Yeah. Um, the the Tracker. The, the, these ships were like a while ago. I've been like, oh, yeah, you know, the Ghost looked cool back then because like you know everybody mm -hmm. likes the paint job, but now there's just like so much depth to it that mm -hmm. like, again, I'm I'm excited to what they're doing what they're doing with the. Uh, with the Super Hornet soon, and with the Mark IIs, the Mark IIs will be amazing. Yep, I think yeah. so. I think I think it'll be really cool. I can't wait. Did to see any more. of you guys pick up the Wildfire variety? I, it's not really a variety as much of it is as a skin. It's like a, it's like a skin basically. It's, it's a, basically, it is a variant. Yeah. It is a variant. Very, yeah. Um, yeah. But no, I, didn't, I, pick it I up. didn't pick one up. I actually picked up one of the each of the other variants, though, oddly enough. And it's more because I owned a saber. Did you get a saber? Yeah, I got a saber comment. Yes. I had a saber already LTI, but for some reason, okay. I just liked the look of the other one. I don't know. I was like, Dude, hey, you right? know, it, was, it was only $10 <laughs> difference. I was like, I know. who cares? It's like the same thing. I pay for a yeah. skin, so why not? And then my Gladius I had for my 10 referrals. Right, because you get a free Gladius. For everybody who don't know out there, if you use your referral code of your friend or yourself, ten times, uh, you get a free Gladius. And yeah. I was like, hey, that's cool, but I why not make it this Gladius? And you could actually, even though you can't melt the Gladius, you could always CCU it over to the other and use that ninety dollars or something. Unfortunately, you only get the three month insurance then. So I haven't fully done that yet. I'm thinking about doing it, but I have an LTI Gladius right now of the uh, variant. And it's it's the paint job on that is super hot. I love it. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. What do you so, use as like a loadout? A default. Yeah. Yeah, I rate face with default on, on, on the 
Really? Yeah. Okay. The missile wow. loadout on it's really good. It's like mm -hmm. it's given it a lot more balls than what the original Gladius was. The original Gladius used to be able to destroy constellations before they put the armor back on the constellation. And uh, oh, shit. yeah, now it's like the the original Gladius can't do anything unless you re retool it heavily. But uh, I like I like the default loadout on it. I don't know why I do, but I do. I think a lot of it's because in our new flight model, people have underestimated the Mustangs. The Mustangs are some badass ships now. Seriously, Again. like mm -hmm. if yeah. you can, um, you can get like what, like four, six guns on there. Yep. I think like it's massive. Like but it's kind of like apart, I can keep up and tear apart a Mustang with Holy the Gladius. Shit. Now, whereas Seriously. I can't, if I see a Super Hornet, I usually run in the Gladius. But for some reason, in the Gladius, I can like take out Mustangs. It's almost like under the new mechanics with how they've adjusted stuff, I feel like it's a lot more rock paper scissors now. I feel mm -hmm. like the ships have been brought more in an even tone, so anybody could win, but this ship now is better against this ship than this ship. So it's like they've switched it up a little bit. So traditional fighter pilots always went to the go-to. They're, like, getting really pissed. Like, all the Sabre pilots out there, you don't see them as often now, right? Because it's like... <laughs> Well, it was like they, super they, meta. Yeah, you know, it had like it had like the strongest shields in the world. The constellation shields on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, so it yeah. had the constellation shields. I think, that, yeah, it, it would drop its shields and then like be like right back up. Yep. Um. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I but I still think like it still comes down to like the pilots and stuff like that. You know, you you like you think like you become like a, you've just become a better pilot over like the time of you playing, and then the, mm -hmm. the new flight model is so much better. How how much do you guys love being able to see what you kill? Because that's the big change to me. Now it's now that it's everybody says, oh, it's slowed it down. Well, you can still boost just as fast as mm -hmm. I did before. But the Super fact fast. you have to dynamically do it instead of just like mouse key out, mouse key out, mouse key out like that. I see who I'm fighting. We have these epic fights, and you can see the other pilot when you're shooting them. Yep. And I'm like, oh. and and even though turns still need some work on all the ships. They're mm -hmm. not totally just for looks now. It's like we took out a retaliator the other night, and we were actually hitting ships with the guns and the turrets of the retaliator. I was so excited. I was like, we're actually hitting stuff. This is so cool. So they still need help. But what what do yeah. you guys think? What, Rue, what do you think about the flight model compared to that? Were, is this one easier for you? Is it harder? Do you just like it better? What do you think? Okay, I just got to say, I was fucking kicking ass in the last flight model. I was like... Pirate swarms, no problem. I like I can do them by myself. Like I was so proud of myself. Like I got dual flight sticks now. Like I can do yeah. this shit. Like I was super proud of myself. This new flight model, I just need to like I need to just take a week, sit down yeah. by myself, figure the fuck out. I haven't done that yet. And for me, it's just, it's really hard. It's all about to, the boost like, and afterburner. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and um it's just a little bit different like mm -hmm. i jumped in there i was like oh this is fun 2.6 release and i was just like floating off the map like yep. every two minutes i was like okay this this is not fun and and it's okay like i just need to sit down i just need to relearn it and i'll be fine again but um i just gotta say like i was really like doing well i was kind of proud of myself mm -hmm. for how well i was doing and so um i do actually like the drops now where you can um oh yeah Get health, get gas, get to pick up the ammo. Everything yep. that's I cool. love that. That's great. Like that's exactly how an arena model should work, anyways. Yeah. So, like, I love that part. I just need to just rework my brain into like thinking that's how that that works now. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just you know that's more like personal stuff. But yeah. overall, like, I am. I think there's probably a couple things that they can change to make the flight model better. But in my opinion, um, it. It makes sense that they um, made those kind of changes. You just hate you know? it right so, now. <laughs> I just hate it right now because I'm like, I was like kicking ass. Like, yeah, that's I an honest opinion, you know. That's an honest and, opinion. It's it, you don't have is. to you don't have to agree it with the is. whole group or anything like that. I think the one adjustment I had to make was just like you. It feels like a roller skating rink when you, but you have to learn. Yeah. The, you have to learn like the the boost and the agility. And I think using a joystick. You're gonna have to map those abilities to there properly, or else you're gonna be lost because you're yeah. just gonna fly like normal and whatever. Now it's like going from an automatic to a clutch. Is the way I kind of dress. Yeah. You you have more control yep. with the with the a stick, but you gotta you gotta learn to use the clutch on it and stuff, and then you can stop on a dime. And I don't have to actually um, decouple ever now. 
Like Which that, actually now right? that makes sense after mm-hmm. you saying it because mm-hmm. I do actually drive a manual. Like that there actually makes fucking sense to me. I'm like <laughs> it was that. It was going from an automatic to a Yeah, because before you could just like go wherever you wanted and your ship would just respond. <laughs> now it's like, wait a minute, I gotta gotta shift this in her gear and do that and it all that does. stuff. So but you will. You'll get you'll get more control out of it that way. And the fact that I don't have to smack decouple and couple, and I can literally just roll over and boost, and I, I get the couple effect where right. you're running away from another pilot, they're chasing you, and you can roll over without decoupling, and you'll still get that drift backwards, and you can shoot them in the face still. It's great. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So I guess in the in the, uh, in the the universe or mm-hmm. whatever, with Port oh, sorry, how is doing missions now? Like, in my opinion, Hardest for me, year. it's frustrating. Well, it's I get really frustrated. And this is something that I think we talked a little bit, Moon, last time too, is the pirates now yeah. are they're actual player ships. They're not, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's when they buff Two the cutlass ships. for players, yeah. Mm-hmm. They buff the cutlasses, cutlasses with, that, with, and with they, the turret. They added cutlasses on the pirates, and you're finding a player ship. We went mm-hmm. from like two shotting auroras with a saber to now it's yeah. like you're Thank fighting you. a player. Yeah. You're fighting sabers, super hornets. Yeah. Uh, it is super hard. Yep. It, it, it's it's a good thing, it though. It's a good mm-hmm. thing. It Absolutely. makes it harder. We're not just going yeah. through like, blam, blam, done. It's it's like, it's a challenge now. You have to fight. And if you bring friends, you're going to have more cutlasses on the field. And you're like, holy shit. Right. It's bad. I mean, do you do you so like doing is... uh, Pirate Swarm? We we beat Pirate Swarm, and it took four of us. And some of the guys died that did not expect to. We went in with three Super wow. Hornets and a Vanguard. Yeah. And, and, it's, and when you fight the Connies... There's like two Connies that come up towards the end of the wave. All the turrets work on them. They're yeah. all there and they're like you're they're all and shooting and, and, and they actually hit you. Yeah, like five guys die. It's weird. Yeah. They instant. Yeah. I literally like made two... it to like level five or oh, yeah. or I guess round wait, five of wait like till the you get to seventeen and then a super mm-hmm. hornet, you come in a super oh. hornet up there and it and the Connie one shots you and blows you up. You're like, Oh, well, apparently that's a tougher that's ship. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is it is good. So I do love the Vandal Swarm. Um, even with the new flight model, like I just love the Vandal Swarms. Like, well, because they're easier ships too, though. Mm-hmm. They're they're easier. I, I guess that's a little bit of it. I but like, like it them. just seems more, a little bit more casual, a little yes. bit more just. Yep. Um, I guess maybe I'm more familiar with it, so maybe mm-hmm. that's why it's. And they haven't more changed like the model, so you're just you're relying on your flight model changes. They haven't changed those ships. Unlike in right. Pirate Storm, they changed all the ships to rebalance just right. like the players, so it's different. So if you yeah. are trying to work on the whole new flight mm-hmm. model and practice on the whole that thing, mm-hmm. do Pirate Swarms. Just keep doing them. Cause like, Start you know, out with Vandal, been... then do Pirate. <laughs> or sorry, yeah, Vandal yeah. Swarms. Just keep doing that. Because um, literally, like that's what we're used to. The Pirate Swarm is new. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I've had to do is just jump in, do a Pirate Swarm, um or a vandal swarm sorry a vandal swarm and just kind of keep doing that until you get used to it then jump into you know the pirate swarm because yeah the person was like way different yeah way different yeah. round five are you kidding me but it's Even really good for fighting other players through. it's good training for fighting other players because you're fighting those type of ships now players probably have you more are. skill but i mm-hmm. think it's going to get you more it's set close to- though yeah yeah, how well, many times you get a cutlass to do it? So here's the thing: like, here, here's the difference between like fighting a player and fighting a pirate swarm, is players are like more comfortable at flying at like super cruise at mm-hmm. you and like in away from you. Where like with the pirates, still like while they are hotter and like they'll get on your ass and like shoot at like the re- like your rear engines and they're like really hard to fight. But they don't use. I don't think they use like super cruise or like they don't afterburn as much as like you would see like random yep. pilot you and, know and they still they've or... dumbed them down so to, to the same level where they still have the same ai if you mm-hmm. say three pirates are coming against you if you shoot them each once they veer off for a moment every time they get hit yeah. they disengage yeah. momentarily so you can manipulate the mechanics a little bit but their aggression is to the point now where you shoot them instead of just very often drifting away and then coming back they veer off then they come right back in so you have to like really stay on them to yeah. to really uh deal with that but I would say I would love to see, and not something I wanted to work on right now, over time eventually having a reading commander where you could set the difficulty of the AI. Like, think about that. Like, you could have it like that's the base, 
But let's say we've beat it already. I want to be able to crank that thing up. I want to see how hard it gets. I want to have them spawn 12 Connies <laughs> against my four friends and then see what we can do. <laughs> Let's 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 crank this thing up. It's like oh man, crank it up, man. Yeah, well Ready? why not, right? I mean, you know, yeah. they got that thing there, so I think it'd be good. It'd be fun. Mm -hmm. we'll see that more would tears. actually be fun. Some challenge. Yeah, like uh, you know, like you can join a game. Um, I mean, of course, this game is an alpha, but like, there's mm -hmm. games you can do the easier mm -hmm. to like the expert. You know, you yeah. got that range where you can kind of just jump into where you feel like. Okay, I beat medium now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let me try hard now. You know, like yep. see where you are. And um yeah, that actually that's interesting. I'd love that. Think. I'd love the, if yeah. you, know, you could change what type of ship spawn like I could choose. Like yeah. would... I feel like that would that, that would totally be part of like a like like a private match, but Yeah, like I'd something... be fine with those settings yeah. on private. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like you see like what these things offer is like it gives you like the badge and stuff like that. Yep. I think that that could all happen. I could definitely see that in the future. Oh yeah. Probably not something that's like doable like right now. Cause... I think it'd be post uh, at least Squadron Forty Two launch, but yeah, right. oh for sense. sure. So, yeah, mm -hmm. but I think it'd be cool I... because it'd make it really replayable because you could bring your friends into different scenarios against AI and do like a horde mode or even like a mode that's like endless mode, where mm -hmm. all they do is spawn and you just see how many levels you can go through. Yep, that'd be kind yep. of cool. Let's see who goes far. It's like just like zombies in Call of Duty, like <laughs> spaceships would be perfect. Zombies. There you go. Okay, just a question. Mm -hmm. What is your guys' favorite ship right now in Star Citizen? Flyable ship? Flyable. Okay. It has to be flyable. <sighs> what is it? Matashi? That's hard. I know it's hard. Um, I know. That's why it's a good question. Yeah, it is a good question. <laughs> oh, I'd have to say Hoplite. Hoplite or Warden, I love these vanguards right now. They're so Dude, good. High five, man. I love the mm -hmm. vanguards. Yep. I love, yeah. love the vanguards. The, the guns sound sexier in hell on them when they fire, even if you don't hit your target all the time, like I don't. But the 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 best experience we've had in my stream is the Hoplite. For some reason, you can multi-crew in it, and it was comfortable. Yeah. We had yeah. seven people in a Hoplite. Everybody seated, turns, everything. Nobody fell out. Nobody went anywhere. And we could see each other. We could get in and out of the seats. We could what? rotate. We played musical chairs. And it worked the whole time. We went to Big Benny's Little Stonehenge. We went all, it was really, That's really good and awesome. fun. We, then we then awesome. was like, hey, the servers are awesome. Let's get in this retaliator. And then everybody got sucked out of the turrets in like five seconds. So, you know, I'm like, <laughs> for some reason, the hoplite, it works great for that multiplayer that it's designed for. And I'm like, That's pretty exciting. So, it flies yeah. really well. It has like really good control. I mean, mm -hmm. it still has like the whole issue of like, if you shoot off like it's like rear engine, you're totally screwed. Oh yeah, you have no control then. <laughs> but, but beyond that, when you're like 100 percent, like mm -hmm. when you're good, it has like amazing control. Like just before like I got done, I was like I was gonna do a race. I should have raced with my with, my, with the Vanguard. Oh, that was because I feel enough. like I would have had like control with it. Mm -hmm. Like even mm -hmm. if it's like even if it's like stupidly, really big and like all over the place. I felt like maybe like I would have had control with it. So it is an awesome ship. And yeah. I was trying to think like, oh, the Hornets, the Hornets are really good. Hornets, are, they, they control well. The Sabre controls well. Cartoal still like all over the place. For some reason, it drifts to the left. Yeah. Um, Needs an alignment well, or something. You can, fix, you can fix the Cartoal drifting thing. If you uh, put out the landing gear and mm -hmm. put it back up it will fix that whole drifting thing but it is weird it feels like one of your thrusters is out yep. and yep. you just literally just like whoo, just keep floating by and it's really frustrating that's but a fix i learned 2. that 2.5 yeah yeah i wish it, yeah i wish in 2.6 they kind of fixed that because i love the control i actually um mm -hmm. I kind of went all crazy on the anniversary stream. I bought one of the cartridges. The is there anything stream. you didn't buy? You're, 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 we're talking about me buying stuff. Like she's like, ah, completionist pack. It's like what? She got a small no, load. I, <laughs> I got like, I basically what happened. Everything was fine until I realized I had purchased like two or three extra ships that I wasn't planning on buying. And then I was like, what the, f what, yeah. what did I do? Like. What happened? And and quite honestly, it was literally like my fault. I had a couple ideas of how to use the 85X as like an LTI token mm -hmm. for some ships. And so I had put them basically in my cart. And again, like this is, I have explained this before. 
I was with family, like, at Thanksgiving, trying to, like, <laughs> enjoy my time with them, like, on my phone, trying to shop for spaceships, virtual spaceships, <laughs> and it just did not work out. Like, I nope. ended up with ships. I was like, I bought two of those? Oh, my God. Okay. That is like, something. You know, you, they should put a warning on the website during the holidays. If shopping from phone, beware. So Seriously. Oh, like, oh, my God. Oh my God. And, like, like, I was saying, like, it, it's kind of confusing when you're trying mm -hmm. to analyze, like, what you want to buy from a, a ship that's on sale, like how to get that, like how yeah. to make sure that we'll have LTI when you upgrade, it gets a little confusing. And so I was literally like calling like Grimlock on like, <laughs> like speed dial, like, um, hey, bro, like this is what I'm planning on doing. Like, does that make sense or what? But like, it made me learn. It made me figure mm -hmm. out like, okay, I get that now. Like he was able to walk me through like, and like I say, like there's not a lot of instructions by CIG that's given about how all that works. No. So asking the community is perfectly normal. Don't feel mm -hmm. awkward about that because it is difficult when you first get into it. Like how to figure out like, okay, I want this to have LTI or as a streamer, like I want to yeah. be able to get this later. Like yeah. what do I need to do to make sure I will have that kind of stuff? And there's just mm -hmm. a couple things. Once you figure that out, it all makes sense. Yep. But until then it's, it seems confusing. It does. Yeah. Just don't ever give out your credit card number to anybody. Just don't do <laughs> there that. You that, go. that, that <laughs> would be the pro tip right there. So as long as you don't yes. do that, take all the advice, but don't give out your credit card number. That's important. <laughs> yes. No. So speaking of 2.6, obviously we've we've had the the rollout now. We've had some time to play Star Marine. We've already talked about the flight mechanics. What do you guys think about the FPS? What's your impressions? What's your experiences there? Uh, Moon, what, let's get you first. What do you What do you think? What's your overall? I I really like it. Uh, I've actually fallen more in love with it than uh, initially. I was I was kind of like holding off on it. I was like I was really waiting, um, but I really like it. Yeah. Um, the desync, the desync yeah. is kind of like disappointing. Like no, I'm yeah. shooting in the face. Well, I'm we, we knew in the it face. was gonna happen, but yeah, nope. it, it is. It's, it's but it's it is super. It, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. I love the grenades. I'm like, once you learn, like, okay, this is a choke point. This is where people are gonna come from. Oh, I should totally be like looking at like my mini map and like seeing like where people are at. It's like, it's really good. Yeah. It is really good. The map's so good in that. The mini map is mm -hmm. really good. I didn't think I didn't like it at first, and then once I got in tune with it, it was like, okay, this mm -hmm. makes sense. So, yep. Rue, Ru, what was your experiences with Star Marine? What do you think? I will admit, I died a lot. I did die a lot. I still do die a lot, which is okay. Like, the thing is, is I already know that I'm not a very good first-person shooter gamer. Like, it's not really my scene. But I love the fact that they've implemented that in 2.6. And again, like, right before the whole, like, uh, Christmas holiday, mm -hmm. like, a lot of people have time to spend in it. And, you know, it just kind of adds to maybe you weren't looking for a space sim, but the graphics and everything of a part of a star season is so fantastic. And even if someone wasn't into the whole spaceman part, Star Marine is a great aspect for first person shooters to get into. It's like, you know, uh, with a couple of changes and everything, they're going to be like a battlefield, but on space, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like that. Grabbing those um, capture points, making sure mm -hmm. you defend them. And working with the team, there's that. There's the el uh, eliminations where you can literally just like go in and just fire it at anyone. Like that's sometimes fun too. So once they work out the glitches, it's going to be exactly like that, except in space, which is just awesome. People just the yeah. nerds. We love our space, right? I gotta say. Absolutely. And guys, I encourage you again, if you're just joining us on the show, make sure if you have any questions about any of the subjects we talk about, that you go ahead and put those questions in the question section of the uh, Space Bros Discord. You can get that link by exclamation mark questions in chat and uh, just go there, throw them in there, and we will get to them all here in a little bit. Um, yeah, as for me with the with Star Marine, you know, I've been hyped about it and waiting forever, running around Korea like an idiot for the past yeah. year. Uh and I love the game. I will say that. It is extra frustrating to me the desync at it though, because there's so yeah. many it's it's for different reasons. I accept that it's in the game right now. It's first iteration of live. It's gonna happen. That's the way it goes. I still have fun playing it, but there's no way for me to really issue counsel anything 
on there. And, you know, people are like, well, why not? And I said, well, with the desync, can you really judge how the weapons fire? Can you really judge if the grenades work well? Because I've had moments where I had 60 frames and I'm doing great and it seems synced and the grenades work perfect, the guns work perfect, everything looked good, and then it's like it goes rubber band goes the other way. So we don't know consistently mm -hmm. until they fix the desync on what needs to be fixed or what needs to be adjusted. Uh, Matachi, wish... really quick, someone's mm -hmm. at my door. I'm really sorry. I had to go. Oh, take go ahead. This. Do your thing. I'll be right back. <laughs> I promise. Okay. okay. All right. It's okay. <laughs> yep. She's like, somebody's at the door. <laughs> no, so, but you're absolutely if, right. I mean, it, it, it yeah. is really hard to like trouble because, you know, again, we are coming across like so much of the desync, yeah. um, which is kind of disappointing. But again, we have to like mm. realize that like this is like the first iteration of two point of of the FPS module. Yeah, uh, it's a whole like new section. You know, whole new part of the game. Yeah, um, so and I think, we were, I think one of the big things is uh, with with all the desync and all the stuff, I think the only thing that could be corrected immediately and simply is, like, I cannot stand, this is my OCD, I cannot stand what they call the mode types of play in there. I still don't understand why a domination match is called last stand. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like elimination makes sense. Sure, you're eliminating everybody else, but... What what about that is last day? It drives me crazy. I know it's such a mute point, and it doesn't really matter in the greater scheme of things. But right. la last stand for me, it was always a hardcore mode, like Call of Duty right. or Battlefield. It's like you get one life, and that is exactly after they get moving on some iterations. This is what is needed inside Star Marine, and the reason is everybody bitching about oh, it's so cookie cutter. It's just a running gun and all this stuff. It's because your death doesn't matter. Much right. like the entire fucking alpha of Star Citizen is, oh, you just died, run, and stuff. Matachi rams a spaceship into me and then respawns and comes back in. That's because it doesn't matter. If they put a mode of FPS in there that actually right. where you could choose all your team in, in Star Marine only gets one life each, guess what right. happens? It becomes tactical. The tactical. game like, yeah. instantly. Because it's like, the if I know... End. Yeah, it's like it's it'd be last stand, right? It's like okay, everybody has one life. Uh, you do like a search and destroy, like where you're trying to cap the bomb. The air team's like defending the bomb, and everybody right. gets one life. It would be super tactical. People would turtle down. They'd use the lean commands and stuff, and they'd try to use weapons that would one shot kill things and and all that stuff. They would, and that's just the thing. But with the resistance of armor and everything, I don't know how they'd play out under the current weapon set. So it'd be interesting. Do you feel like we will like we'll get to that point? Like I I, I assume we'll always mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get more than just the team modes right now, but like and they should totally like probably like rename these things. Like we do need we need we need team deathmatch. Yes. We need uh capture the flag. Mm -hmm. We could you know uh or or like or domination. Yep. Um, some something to like to like to like those kind of like play styles. Mm -hmm. It's always been weird. Like you know especially with with like with how like they name things for, like arena commander mm -hmm. you know the battle royales or they have so know, many uh, modes for arena battles. commander and i feel like mm -hmm. they will have more modes for here. star marine yeah but mm -hmm. i just think they're not they didn't have them fleshed out i think part of it was a pressure release part of it was that i think the mechanics are there but until they get the net code in and i just have to think in the back of my mind i mean Recently, there was messages put out there, even though I'm not even so I can talk about it. Uh, there's messages put out there that, you know, we're looking at several weeks maybe before we get a patch. I mean, that's just the mm. that's what's been said by multiple people. If that's the case, um, yeah, we're going to be dealing with this for a while. That means there's still iterations on this to come. So right. to me, as much as people say one doesn't delay the other, 3.0 will keep getting pushed out a little more because i mean if they're still trying to sync this then obviously they don't have the net code ready for the other stuff either so we'll just have to see what happens so i i hope that uh they'll they'll consider putting some of our modes in there if nothing else maybe in private match be able to customize i would love yeah. to be able to lower it down to one death per person just to see what that gameplay is like i i could think of a dozen game modes right now off the top of my head that could be implemented with no new assets or anything you could do a vip mode where you have to protect one character and get them out of the facility. Echo 11 would be a great thing for that. You just have to go one way around the entire map or something like that. There's all kinds of stuff. Board the Idris has been mentioned, but that's yeah. for a whole new map set that they don't even have in yet. So, yeah, I'm, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good. And I can't wait to see what modes and stuff come in there. But the primary thing has to be the desync. 
because we can't test or prove anything until desync. There's there's players. There's no way players that have a six thousand ping, which we have pictures of in a match I played. Mm -hmm. Six thousand ping. That means literally your latency means you wait six seconds before you see what happens next. Should should be in the match. They should be dropped if they get that yeah. kind of ping. And it right now, I think the whatever band aids have put on it to get it out for holiday release. It's holding the servers together with all these people saying, do not drop this person. Time to live infinite, whatever it is. And I think a lot of that might contribute to the sync. It's probably not all of it, but there's no way. There's no way somebody should be able to drop shot me if they have like a, a thousand ping compared to my 68. <laughs> it just shouldn't happen. And yeah. the server desync. No, that's true. Yeah. So I know I suck. But yeah, there's six thousand ping. We had six thousand ping, three thousand ping, and that translates to actual seconds of time before they'd be able to move again. So on my screen, it looks like nobody's there. On their screen, when the servers are holding it together, syncing, they're not even in the same room, and boom, they're in front of you, and you're dead. And I'm like, right, that shouldn't work that way. And I, I know it won't, but yeah, yeah, ten yeah. seconds is timing out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a, a good way to go. <laughs> A good way. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> so, so absolutely. Um, what else? I I do like the way. If you want to get a good, accurate feeling the way the guns feel, the PU is really good because they've implemented all the same gun mechanics and grenades and stuff in the persistent right. universe. You don't get the latency issues, and things just work, and it feels really nice. Yeah, so, I still go over to Korea and yeah. uh, shoot people in the face there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I would, but I do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, I still love Korea. Yep. I love Korea. And I love how they move the whiskey bottles around now. So it's not yeah. in the closet. It's like spread it out, make it a little more dynamic, get all the space. So it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't have to worry about that now. one guy sitting there in the corner, like yeah. ready to shoot you. Yeah. I have to worry about it's... six of them. <laughs> Though, I will say that was a good corner. <laughs> it's <a> good <laughs> it was. It's an yeah. awesome corner to sit on and oh, always be man. there. But yeah. So, no, yeah, I do like fun. it. Like, it's kind of mm -hmm. like feels like some fresh new challenges where, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's alpha. So you kind of get yeah. saying the same old, same old. Like, sometimes you even learn how to work around the glitches and everything. Mm -hmm. 2.6 was definitely like, it was nice. But it's even the minor changes in the PU, right? Just a few ships, a few moving assets around Korea, just a couple things made it feel good to me again. And it's it's exactly. amazing. I'm like, if this minor changes here and there while we're waiting for other stuff, is it worth them taking the amount of time to like just put little things in, little Easter eggs, little nuggets and stuff while we're waiting months for builds? I mean, is that a is that a good thing? Do you think they should be spending time on that? Do you think it takes away from other stuff? What do you guys think? What do you what do you think, Moon? Do you think it's worth putting little Are bits in the alpha? Are you hinting towards? Okay, first off, did you guys find the Benny Hedge? I assume so, right? Yes, yeah, Stone Edge. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yes, course. the little Benny Hedge. Um, I thought it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I assume that it probably take a ton of time to implement in the game. Um, at the same time, even if it did, it was just something different to go to, uh, mm -hmm. go do. It was interesting. They even put the the blown up uh, Starfarer in there, um, yeah. and that was yeah. fun to go through. I think all Had of a cool that was little fun. story. It, it didn't really do anything. Yeah. Came but it was just kind of a cool little st story to go it through. Was, and it was fun for me, at least. Like, I actually enjoyed that. And it was kind of just like, oh, I got this screenshot of the big bennies. Like, you feel like you completed mm -hmm. something in the game, which was nice. Um, but quite frankly, uh, the, you know, they did the whole switch over to Lumberyard, which probably wasn't a huge change. But it was a little bit of a change, whereas a little bit of testing and all that kind of stuff. I assumed that, you know, in 3.0, 3.1, there's going to be the missions that are built out more like we saw in the demo um, oh, yeah. of like meeting a guy at the bar, he assigned yeah. you something, you'd go out to a point that he's interested to. Like, I feel like that dynamic of the missions are going to be, we're going to see that more when 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, whenever that comes out, like later this year, or even, yeah. you know, I will give them till next year. I don't, I don't mind them well, don't taking time. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> They better have three. They better have three zero and three one this year. Oh, yeah. For sure, this year. Just those, just those two. Pitch I can forks, with the rest of pitchforks and torches. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like this, I see a crowd of people behind you around, mm. around it up. It's like oh no, no. Oh, but yeah, yeah. but Moon Moonshiner, what do you think? Uh, do you think it's worth taking the time to dedicate to do these little things and of and course these little things or of course. You? I mean, 
I mean, this, this this is all part of like building like the better game. And like, sure, mm-hmm. like you know, don't don't take the time out of like you know focusing on like you know the macro to fix the micro. But you know, sure, like you know, definitely fix the the desync. You know, it, or if you can, if they can, I don't know if that's like an issue. Um, but this is this is all like moving forward towards like you know like a bigger a bigger game and like you know mm-hmm. for like the release and stuff like that. So like hopefully like if they do work on these small things, it is like you know. It is for like the bigger picture. Yeah. Um, Take assets they're already working on. Don't reinvent the mm-hmm. wheel. Just add a little Easter egg here and there. You know, it, it's so weird for like any of us and anyone to be like, you know, they shouldn't focus on this and they shouldn't focus on that. It's like, yeah. you know, they have like a guideline of like how they want to do things. Like, who, yeah. like, we don't, like, we don't know like where they're at in the development, like yeah. their actual development. And we have so no idea like, how long know. these things take. We have no clue. I mean, it literally mm-hmm. could be, look what I built on my spare time or look what I already had done. And, mm-hmm. and let's, oh, let's just throw this in there. How long did that take? Oh, an extra day? <laughs> Well, we're four days out from getting this implemented, so go ahead and do that while you're waiting. So, I, you know, we don't know behind the scenes, and I can't think that they'd spend a lot of time personally on a lot of these little Easter egg stuff and all that. I think that they either have it there or it's quickly implemented, so they just try to make it a little bit extra fun for us. So why not? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, now we're going to get banned because Rue's showing her pussy on screen again, so <laughs> that's what happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It happens sometimes. Fine. I yep. just I just hold myself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But no. Okay. So since since Rue brought this up, let's talk a little bit before we get to the questions about uh, Lumberyard and the switch that they they made and the fact that they didn't just make the switch. This is something they've been working on implementing for over eight months. So right, for, yeah, yeah. For a lot of us, it's like people are like, "Oh wow, you probably wasted a bunch of time doing that." Well, it seems like no, they I shopped don't think so. this and they decided to make this decision way back when. They just couldn't tell yep. us about it, and so it's been part of their thing the whole time. We're hearing them work on the Star Engine and the Netcode. They've been implementing this, and and just so before we get to you guys in this, let's go ahead and be really clear about what they did. They didn't switch engines. They made they have Star Engine, which is their version of CryEngine, and they mm-hmm. took the net aspects, some of the networking aspects out of Lumberyard, just a couple yep. modules out of Lumberyard, and they implemented those so that way the entire network would sync up better with the AWS system and hopefully offer the expandability and modulation that they need in order to get their net code solution implemented. That's all they did. They did not rebuild the entire engine. They just right. uh, expanded on what they had and used those modules for the networking aspect in their star engine. So, and quite frankly, like mm-hmm. seeing how uh, CryEngine was dealing with their offices, like there was a bunch of layoffs and that sort of stuff. Yeah. As a business person, it was probably best for them to up and leave. Like at that point, like how can you put your trust into? This yeah. game that you know a lot well, of people have backed and everything. And to be honest, they haven't. They hadn't used any of the CryEngine build since when? They said 2015. Like, 2015 was yeah, the last was actual the build that they got time. from CryEngine. So, for yeah. for the switch yeah. for the separation, it had already occurred. They were already done, and they were on their own trying to figure out what to Did do. Did you hear? And there you know, you know, what's, what's funny is like they were able to like do like these switches, like they said, like over like a weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, right. again, it, it, it's it's small stuff, you know, um, how, how they said, you know, and, and just in the post from Chris Roberts, you know, all they swapped out were like light components from from uh, CryEngine that were light components in, in uh, Lumberyard. Yeah. Uh, Lumberyard is, is built for, you know, for uh, MMO, uh, you know, building and stuff like that. It's meant for online gaming, uh, where mm-hmm. CryEngine is built for single player, uh, single player campaigns um yep. it's totally it's totally like a good thing and it was something that was like super simple for them to do i mean again they did it over a weekend um right so that that's insane it's mm-hmm. i don't know there's there's no and really i gotta say 2.6 has probably been their most stable um mm-hmm. update release whatever you want to call it it has been probably the most stable i don't crash as much there's definitely yeah. some new glitches that have it, happened hand down hands down the best ptu implementation i've ever experienced because and anybody says otherwise is full of shit because i've been here before <laughs> 2.0 and we had remember when they put the star fares in like the start it would just crash mm-hmm. in so you couldn't load into ptu there wasn't a, it's like so the first days it's whatever 
you know, every time. This is the first one where I logged in and I could play. Like on a on a live patch, like this is live, let's go. And we just went and we mm -hmm. did it. It's really good. And yeah, a couple of comments from chat and also from here. So to sum up the Lumberyard thing, obviously, Lumberyard and Star Engine folks were on the same build of CryEngine. Uh, they swapped the foundation uh, that was CryEngine to Lumberyard. So they're both building the same foundation. So instead of going 3.7 this, they went over with the uh, Lumberyard variation of that that was retooled. And they said it took two engineers two days to make the switch. That's what Chris Roberts said. So there's your time dilation of like everybody. He also said that on fucking Christmas Day. He yeah. took his time out on December 25th. It took two guys two days. <laughs> and I was probably I one say, of those two guys. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> yeah. I got to say, like, yeah. man, if this guy isn't dedicated, he's dedicated. Yeah. Just seriously, people don't understand that. Like, Mm -hmm. As much as you want to, I don't know, give him crap or whatever, it's slowly releasing. This is such a new game. There's not even been a game that's giving you this much access at this point in the game. Like, have fun yeah. with it. Like, Absolutely. if I come across a glitch, like, I just enjoy it. It's like, it's all I'm, like, I'm going to have that, you know, give me two years. It's going to be like this perfectly smooth game. I'm going to enjoy the laugh that I had. I'm going to take some screenshots. I'm probably going to do a, 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 yeah. a clip. But it's because it's like, you know, this is just building a game out. Like, it's just fun well, to see that kind of stuff. You know, they're not, CIG's not perfect. They're going to make mistakes because right. whenever you take the road less traveled, you're blazing a new trail and it's going to be different. It's not like there's a diagram on how to do what CIG's doing. You know, it's like, oh, we're going to make a game <laughs> yeah. just like, wait a minute, there's nothing out there like this. So there, there's, there's a whole new path they're taking with it. But there's many, many aspects of it where they do make mistakes. And I think the thing that if anything's take away from this whole lumberyard thing and everything else is the way they present the community information. They could use a big lesson on that many times because they basically came out and said, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, we changed up some things on the entire engine and all this stuff. No big deal. Don't worry about it. You're nothing to see here. And moved on. If they would have said, hey, guys, this is an exciting thing that I can now tell you. I can now tell you eight months ago, we decided to make this switch to Lumberyard, which is a stronger, more robust version of what CryEngine used to be that Amazon now controls, which means now we're in a partnership with Amazon to bring you this new network and this netcode, this expansive system on their cloud network, which is available in areas like Australia, where Google's not even at yet, all these areas. If they would have just came out and said it like that, wouldn't have been one fucking peep heard from anybody in the community. Maybe the naysayers would have said something, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't have caused any ruckus. And I think it's a lot of it is still the management's disconnect from the community. And they used to have a little bit more Xylo and, and uh, you know, uh, Lando out there be able to do this stuff. But I think it's not necessarily their fault. I think there's a lot of work that they're paying on all these guys. Everybody's got a million hats to wear and a million jobs to do. Yeah. So it's true. I think maybe maybe we should get some expansion in the community team, maybe? Because there's a disconnect there. There obviously is. It because is. they don't know why we freak out. And if you don't know what we're going to freak out about by now, I mean, first off, everything. Second off, maybe you should roll out your presentation a little bit better than that. And thirdly, take the feedback we've been giving you on like some of your stream stuff. I mean, they did a great job initially with their video stuff. ATV is amazing now. But doing these high end productions and stuff in the live streams, just mm. like we don't give a shit. Like, that's great. You know, but I, I think that's it. But they're doing a great job on the game. And as long as they keep showing us progress, mm. as long as we keep playing it while they're building it, they can take as long as they want, as far as I'm concerned. They just have yeah. to constantly give me iterations, give me a little bit more at a time, give me something more to play. And once 3.0 hits, essentially to me, you're playing the game. You know, it might right. it might get reset when it's done. But I mean, have cargo in with the amount of emergent gameplay that I see all you guys and myself go out on streams <laughs> and do with our communities. I mean, we're, there's nothing to fucking do in the game right now, essentially. And we're going out and making stuff to do and just having a great time doing it. If you give us even cargo, you can imagine the amount of crap we can get into and do with just having oh cargo in the God. game and missions. It's going to be crazy. So, and then, yeah. Planetary, like, where we can land on the planets right now? I'm like. How stupid. much exploring that's going to be? Oh, it's I'm going to spell out my name so in caterpillars fun. on the ground. I know it's like just going to be <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It's good. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. It's there's tons and, of stuff. How do you spell Matachi? It's, um, it's, it's so hard to spell. No. M I T A U C H I. You can do it. 
<laughs> Matachi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The other thing that I'm super excited about, the whole, like, you know, landing on the planes and all that stuff, like, I'm trying to think. Okay, so we have, you know, Levski, which they showed us now. Mm-hmm. Um, like, that's, like, one planet or what area we can go land and explore. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, okay, just imagine, like, test gaming or redacted coming mm-hmm. in and, like, I mean, not like this would happen, but I feel like there's going to be some government kind of things that come into play here, politics, of, like, this is Redacted's planet, or this is Tess Gaming's planet. And, like, there will be bases of, like, Tess Gaming people or Redacted people mm-hmm. that it's, like, you know? What, like, what's what's going like, to happen is Tess Gaming will chase its tail trying to figure out how to build the city on the planet, and Redacted will kill each other <laughs> because we're we're not in the same real group. We're just in, we're in a gaming community, but we got Overdrive, Overwatch, Imperium, all in Redacted, all these different stream teams. <laughs> so we'll be like, there. hey, yeah. we're going to build a Redacted base. I'm like... It's going to be a space oh, probe base. What are you God. talking about? It's like, no, it's not. It's going to be a pirate base. It's like, no, it's not. It's going to be an Imperium base. And it'll be like, what did you say? It'll be a whole reservoir dogs all over again sitting down exactly. there. And it'll, it'll it's really just like, like it's mind blowing to mm-hmm. think that like that little area that they show us just yeah. on the CitizenCon mm-hmm. demo was the size of like Skyrim. I mean, who has spent how many hours in fucking Skyrim? Mm hmm. But did you have dragonfly races? The whole thing. Now you got dragonflies right. and rovers. This is it's true. Be awesome. But mm-hmm. like the size of that thing, and that's just like one planet out of the how many planets have they showed us? I think in they should mapping? just put one sand person per planet, and it's like an Easter egg, and you have to find them. Yeah, it take you like forever. It's like drive, drive, drive. Let's find him. Where's he at? I'm gonna find George. It's He's like a fucking trigger. Yeah. You get like a legacy, like kind of like mm-hmm. item or something. Like you found the there, fucking sand people. You so. see a sand person. He's just constantly pounding on the Big Benny's machine because it's out of order. It's just like it won't yeah. open. It's like whatever. Oh uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be good. It's just gonna be amazing. Yeah. And when the Endeavor comes out, there's gonna be farming. Um, I did actually pick up an Endeavor on the anniversary stream. Um, I oh, picked no. up two of Crazy. the farming modules. So I'm, like, actually really excited about that. Did you buy and... some overalls, too? Because you need to wear overalls if you're going to be a farmer. I already have some. Oh. So... I'm just growing all the space weed. <laughs> all the space weed. Oh, <laughs> but, no, like, I'm just super excited. I can't excited. wait to, I... go, to all you guys do this because, you know, the, the market for space weed is going to be so cheap. Because everybody's growing. Everybody's it. gonna be doing it's it. gonna cost mm-hmm. absolutely nothing. You guys are gonna have to give it away. Is what's gonna happen. The mm-hmm. bottom of the market's gonna fall out. I'll sell like I'll sell like fruit, which yeah. people will be like. That raises fruit? another good question. Because since they said that AI, they're gonna spawn AI to help balance the economy so we can't take it over like we do in Eve Online. So on this game, does that mean they'll produce more consumers for something if it's overpopulated? So if we have way too much space weed. Will they get a whole bunch of stoner AI to come out and try to smoke up <laughs> all the space weed so that way it keeps the market oh balanced? Oh, my God. And then the AI will be easy to kill again because they won't be able to fly straight. Yes. It's going to be like that episode of Cowboy Bebop with, uh, was that, <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. It's going to be mm-hmm. great. It's going to be like space stations full of, like, hippies smoking weed. Yep. Just floating around an EVA. It's going to be awesome. Yep. It's like the market, dude. It's like five cents, five cents a pound. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. So cheap. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> yep. It's crazy sauce. All right. So again, why don't we? Um, do we get everybody's links in there? Well, let's get get the streamers' links in there again. Let's tell us what you guys are going to be doing, and then we'll jump in the questions. So we're going to do it that way tonight. So, moonshiners, why don't you tell us what you've been doing, what you're going to be doing uh, coming up here this next week, what your plan is, and uh, where they can reach you and all that stuff. Okay. Um, well, uh, I do a podcast. You know that because you've been on it. Mm-hmm. And Rue Smash was on it just last week. Oh, wow. Um, what this a quick Monday, Two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks what ago. a quick evening. Um, last, uh, last, no, last Monday, Rue was on there. Uh, this Monday, we have uh, Witch Kitty. Witch Kitty is a fellow uh, Star Citizen streamer. I hosted earlier. Uh, right. She's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Witch Kitty is great. Uh, mm-hmm. So she'll be on here with us on Monday. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow and streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, never Sundays. I never stream on Sunday. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing a whole like a whole lot of like what I do, playing Star Citizens, shooting people's in the faces, and yada nice. yada yada. Sweet. Seriously, if you guys aren't watching like the Moon Trainers, he's she is fantastic. Like, okay. I have probably literally 
um, you, I just actually want to be honest here. I, you were probably like the first six or seven streamers that I started watching. Um, you know, that's beside, you know, uh, you know, Grim, who obviously helped me get into this, uh, Toby and Bradley. And like the, the next person I can think of that I started watching was uh, the Moonshiners. And like, Ooh. ever since then, I've always just loved tuning into you and hanging out with you and, and learning about Star Citizen. Um, so if you guys aren't oh, on the Moonshiners, yeah. seriously. She took all her time to like sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like to sell that. No, seriously. <laughs> no, definitely. Oh, we fantastic. want everybody to see Moon, and obviously Moon. If we can keep uh, Moonshiner's numbers up, I think that uh, partnership is just on the horizon. We just got to keep pressing and, and mm -hmm. helping out there, and I think it's really close. So let's do the thing, guys. Uh, Rude, tell us a little bit more about you. Where, when they can find you, where they can find you. And, and, and where they stuff. can find me yeah oh, i'm mysterious no, I'm mysterious um mm -hmm. no i i've really been trying um as hard as i can to stick to um thursday night through saturday night uh streams um about 7 p.m uh pacific standard time every now and then i'm able to do like a wednesday night stream about the same time mm -hmm. um and actually uh just as of last night i released a new podcast called um crafty brews Ooh. and nerdy news and uh, it's been really fun um so far i really do like it um not only am i going to be talking about star citizen but just big news within uh just the gaming industry uh so we'll cover things like overwatch battlefield one like any new kind of big releases that are coming out and even if they release like some updates on that like we're going to talk about all of that um which will be super fun so um, yeah, there was kind of a test run last night, and uh, nice. I had a blast. It was quite fun. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I just do my normal stream, uh, mainly stream Star Citizen on top of that. A um, couple classic games as far as, like, you know, Age of Empires to Rise of Nations to, uh, you know, I'm also playing some, like, um, Overwatch kind of stuff. So, yeah. Come on. It's cool. Absolutely. Yeah, We I know we always try to tune in to you if we see you. After the Space Bros shows, oh. we always try to jump over there like, oh, we're on, let's go, Raider. It's always fun. <laughs> so, I know. You, it makes it fun. You're fantastic. <laughs> well, I'll have you on a lot more. You keep saying that stuff. Anyway. <laughs> yes. So, and then yeah. um, for me, guys, we're going to be doing, obviously, the Space Bros show. We, I was talking to uh, Moonshiners and Rue. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be kind of doing a little bit different. We're going to rotate the podcast because we like this nice lackadaisical format we have. And we're going to be including all kinds of different streamers and stuff from the Star Citizen universe, as well as artists, anybody else doing YouTube, all that stuff. So uh, we're kind of going to rotate the show around and do that, especially with us waiting for 3.0. We want to get more people's perspectives on what's going on. Uh, we're not going to bulk it up too big, but we're going to keep it around three or four people and just have a good time with it. So you'll see some familiar faces uh, probably monthly, and then you're going to see some new faces uh, every now and then. So be sure to watch out for that. Additionally, we're going to be starting. I can't quite announce the time or date yet, even though I have a good time frame in mind. Uh, we're going to be doing a new podcast that's going to be coming up soon where I hope to uh, get some different people, even some non-streamers on it, and we're going to be talking more about streaming, uh, the the ups and downs of streaming, some of the best tech to use streaming, and doing some uh, different things like that, and talking to people not necessarily about Star Citizen, but more about just dealing with streaming, real life games, all that stuff, and uh, kind of behind the scenes sort of thing. So I think that's going to be really cool. It'll be good knowledge for people that are aspiring to stream. Not that I'm an expert. Hopefully we'll get people a lot smaller than me. Uh, but uh, we'll also be talking to people that were just curious about what goes on and what people deal with uh, real life when they're trying to make it in the entertainment industry. So that should be good. I hope so. Yeah. We'll see. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. It should I'm be excited. Fun. I'm excited for it. I just have to get all the work done behind it still, too. So <laughs> oh, my God. It's heavy lifting. But we're going to have that. We're going to have updates on the channel. We're going to have some, uh, hopefully, a new websites images and stuff fleshed out we've met all your guys's requests here in the background i just have to get them published yeah and uh wow. you know for those guys that didn't follow along 
We got the final numbers of uh, $13,865 we did in giveaways last year for Star wow. Citizen exclusively. Oh, my god! So we hooked up a lot of you guys out there. So you guys have been super awesome. And, uh, yeah, we crossed our 500 sub uh, marker. We're working now towards our 600 sub marker. And we're hopefully going to get 1,000 subs by the end of the year. So we're going to keep working on that and growing the channel and doing all that stuff. We're planning on going to CitizenCon. I have my passport stuff in the works. Yay! I hope. Oh my God. Yeah, so much stuff to do and not enough time to do it. In. So I, we'll, yeah. we'll keep working at it. But let's get to the questions, guys, and uh, we'll dive into that. So we have okay. from Kamikaze question Why do you think broken things are still slipping through the cracks? Example, gun sight's still broke even though it was on Bug Smasher's show being fixed. You think it's because they didn't have enough time to test the fixes or really the fix didn't get fixed in the first place? Uh, Moon, why don't you start off with your opinions on this one? Okay, so I keep spawning into Port Olisar with uh, my bearing ballistic through my head. And um, then I had like, another issue where the, the tip of the gun was the magazine. And then the laser rifle didn't have the the sight up on top, so mm -hmm. this is something that like we dealt with back in the day. Yeah. The gun through my head is kind of funny because it's kind of like an arrow through my head. Yeah, so a little Steve Martin <laughs> action <laughs> with the. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, do you think? I mean, what, what, like, what happens in the code that that breaks it? What 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 is causing it? I mean, like, maybe they fix it, but then like you know mm -hmm. they show like they show on Bug Smashers like, oh, this is what's happening. But then, yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's, it's happening. Well, again. in my opinion, back. Uh, I haven't had those issues. I mm -hmm. mean, I had no sights all through 2.5. Anybody watch my stream saw that. I'd run around Korea. I had no sights. Now I have fine sights. I have had the bug in Star Marine where the sights are not attached, and they'll, like, wiggle like this. Like, you'll move your gun, and the sights are over here for the rail <laughs> sights. But I have them all the time. So the whole point in that, in my opinion, is it's inconsistent. And mm -hmm. so I can only assess that maybe when you have who, how many ever people where it's Mark on Bug Smashers or whoever fixing it, it's not the same across the board. So not everyone is having the issue. A lot of people maybe, but not everyone. And maybe it's something that they don't under didn't get the scope of people that had the issue. You got to remember it was just Evocati. Maybe there was like uh, twenty out of eight hundred people that are having it. Now that you've expanded to everyone. Maybe it's more like. 2,000 people out of 10,000 mm -hmm. people have it. So the the problem could have escalated a lot, and it'd be a larger group, which they'll have to address. But I believe Mark probably fixed it and went to the next item for what he saw and identifies that one root bug. And it can't be consistent across every client, or I would have it too, and everybody else would always have it. So, Yeah, that's very true. And that's why it's so important. I can't stress this enough. Submit your bug reports like mm -hmm. it helps them out a lot like i think that's one of the reason why they even started this whole alpha release kind of stuff is like they can see and you know fix the game to how they're seeing other gamers play it and um yeah get on there so mm -hmm. you know if you are unsatisfied with a new patch um element let them know they're all ears on hearing about um you know, things to change or make it better. Yeah. And how to use the issue council is really important too, because um, making sure you do your research and make sure there's not already an issue similar to what you're having out there and just expanding on it. Because if you just have a one-off issue, even though it's already listed and you put it out there, it's like, Oh, I'm having this issue. And you just write it up and you said, that's it. If somebody already had that and you have like one instance of that issue on your bug report, they're going yeah. to move it down the list to look at compared to this guy's. If you stack it yep. appropriately and do the research to find it, and then you have two people on it, maybe three people look at it, four people, if you get more people reiterating that, then it moves more to a higher priority on the list. And you can see all this in the issue council for those people that haven't been there. You should definitely go check it out. Peruse the list once in a while. See if there's an issue there. And don't just upvote it. Take a screenshot, say something, expand on yeah. it, and show it, and it will raise the priority. And everybody who says, "Oh no, that's not true," they're they're full of crap, because it, it works and it does. And it, you'll find the yeah. ones with the most video footage, with the most iterations on it, with the most responses, are being moved mm -hmm. to the top of the list, and they're addressed first. So, 
You know, yep. you, can, you can sit there and whine a bitch or you can do something about it. It's what I say. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think they did fix it, Kamikaze, I, to what they were aware of. And they probably have, I'm sure Mark only has like two things on his plate at a time. So I don't know why I didn't spend yeah. hour time fixing it up for everybody. Seriously. I'm sure he thought he addressed it and there's probably something it's intermittent and they're going to have to keep working on. It. All right. Next question yeah. from Links the Cat. Question about the mouse mat. So the big extended mouse pad. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it the one of those plasticky laminated mouse mats or is it a fabric mat? That's a good question. I don't know if we can tell from the image. I don't now. I don't have one. Yeah. Do any of you have one? I, I have I have super one, but detailed. I think they're I think they're talking about the one on uh, for the Oh Sandy. that you posted yeah, yeah. from yeah, yeah. Sandy. Yep. It's probably I laminated. I would assume that it's fabric. <sighs> really? By it's what so I know. But it's hard to tell. Most mouse pads like that are fabric. It's hard to laminate them and get them to roll flat like that. But mm. it's hard to tell because it's it's also I'm, a powdery image. I don't see any sheen on it. We can bring it back. I don't see a sheen. It's I am. Hard to can tell. you pull that back up? <laughs> yeah, I got it back up there. I I'm mean, expanding. I am. Let's see. Let's see how big this thing is. <laughs> it looks really detailed. It does. I feel like. I mean, well, do then, we know the price point on this? Did they detail. talk about how much it is? That will tell you right there. If it's sub twenty dollars, it's probably laminated. If it's a if it's a nice fabric one, it's probably forty dollars or more. Mm. It I, looks fabric. It looks because if it, it was laminated, fabric. It, you know if what? It was now laminated, that I look at it, it's not like it, it loses like a lot of its detail mm. and like it's like really light, so maybe it is fabric. I think it is fabric because I'm. I have one on my desk here, and it's a jumbo. It's bigger than that. It's actually a little taller, and it's not that one. But this is an Aki, and I got this for ten bucks, and it's full fabric mouse pad. So, I I think it'd be fabric. I don't think they want to give you pure crap. I mean, they they aren't they aren't selling like Starsis and like cheap ass I mean, keychains and stuff. No, they do understand this is like a huge gaming community. Yeah. It is and... kind of rolling up on the edges though. Yeah, but mine does that a little bit too. I think I, I'm going to go with the guesstimate. We do not know for sure, but I'm going to go with my opinion. It's fabric, but I'm sure there's no you, glare on it. If you I'm go sorry, to Sandy's but I Twitter, that's why they put the stick pictures. on it. Yeah, if you go Ooh. to Sandy's Twitter and you say something like that and say, "Is it fabric or is it plastic on top?" She'll probably respond she and tell you because she's pretty good about that stuff, or somebody will. Yeah, so I would. Do she's that. really good about that. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty good about that. All right. Next question. Kamikaze again. He says, question, I heard that they got rid of sticky fingers. I don't know what sticky fingers is, but sticky mm, fingers because they can. Hands? Like uh, holding hands. like certain key down? Grabby hands. Grabby hands. I assume he's what he's talking oh, about. Oh, okay. I think it's a okay. sub subliminal. Maybe he's eating a honey button or something. Because they couldn't get it to work right, and there's no cargo. And no cargo will be loaded by hand. If this is true, how much of an impact do you think it will have now on the overall gameplay with looting cargo etc if if an object is if an object is like pick up if you can pick up an object well you'll have the inner thoughts, inner thoughts yeah system let's let's pop up let's address the first thing i don't think they got rid of grabby hands i think it's different i think they did you think they okay well let's define that because they showed it at the Gamescom thing where he picked up the stuff, that was what they called that grabby hands. Even though it looked way no. different than the tech demo we saw mm. for the original grabby hands, I think that's what they're defining as grabby hands now. So I think they flipped it on us a little bit. If it's like a cup, the cup will give you the option to pick it up. You can't just like move your hand over and your hand will like will pick it up. Yeah. If you won't be able to like pick up like little, I don't know. Like you're going to have to have the option to do it. I don't think, like, like grabby hands was really this whole idea of like, if you got close to something, like, you know, like, in your hands were out there, we'd be able to, like, kind of, like, just yeah. pick it up and stuff like that. I think grabbing I mean, hands originally they, came into play when they were trying to figure out VR, too, right? What they said yep. was that they got away from grabbing hands during that whole presentation. Yeah. Like, grabbing hands isn't a thing. Um, okay. Again, if, if an object is, like, if you can pick it up, it'll tell you. Like, your brain will, like, you'll have, like, the inner thought system pop yeah. up, like, pick hey, up. you want to grab that cup? Yeah. You want to put that cup down? Do you want to drink it? Do you want to, you know... 
Yeah. I'm just saying, what about my big Benny's noodles? Like, I am really proud of those. Mm -hmm. Just don't try to pick up the whole machine or you'll end up like the guy over at the Benny Stonehenge. (laughs) Yes. So. Apparently. (laughs) Yeah, he he got smooshed. Oh, Um, has anyone tried to get a big Benny machine over to the big Benny's hedge to complete the hedge? No? Yes, maybe? I have not. That's genius, though. Get out there and do it, guys, if you can. I think, do it. I think I heard somebody was doing it, but I don't. I don't remember. That'd be fantastic. It'd still be fun to do. Totally fun to do. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it like, we're gonna, do it. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna do, do it. it. I'll, I'll do it all the way till I see another person. Then I'll end up get distracted shooting him in the face. I know. That's what <laughs> yeah, right. Oh look, it's shiny. Kill him. Um. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I think uh, to answer the first part, I think grabby hands is not implemented in the same way you're right um this is true how do you think it'll impact the overall gameplay with looting cargo like shiner said i think it's going to be just inner thought system you'll say hey yeah. pick up cargo blah 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 but i would like to see the inner thought options like you could get a manifest to see what's in the box or you know stuff like that mm-hmm. so i would think that would come into play too so but we won't know until we have an inventory system because that's when you'd select hey i want to grab one of these and not 20 guns i just want one because I don't have enough yeah. hands to hold 20 at once. Something like that. Yeah, Inventory system will definitely be a huge implementation. Do I have in... too many pins or did I use them all and I'm about to bleed out and die? That would be great information. Even on my HUD, <laughs> I would like to see that. Like, how about a little Red Cross times two or one or zero? Thank you. Yeah, Anything like. Anything like that would be good. Give me yeah, something. A little bit of a notification would be nice. Yeah. And, I mean, it's. I get that two is not too hard to keep count of. I get that. But at the same time, like when you're like, like going through, you shoot this person, you go that that one, you die, you come back, blah, blah. I'm sorry. It is hard to figure out if you've used two of the Epi pens to yeah. reheal yourself. All, all I need is I need a gif of Rue doing her ninja skill there where she's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's like Ninja Rue. It's perfect. Ninja Rue. Ninja Rue. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah, seriously though, I'm just like, it, it's not that hard to keep count of, but at the same time you're like, oh my god, I have actually used my two, and you're like, bleeding out, and you're like, running through, like, oh crap, find a freaking health pack now, like, you just need it right now, yeah. and, uh, that you need to bleed me out, but no, hey, uh, yeah. I was gonna say, there's, a, there's actually the next questions for you, Rue. So oh, nice. Asian Glow asked, Rue, when are you going to get a green mat for, n- I don't know how to say your cat's name, but I assume that's what it is, Nidalee? Is it Nidalee? Nidalee. 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 To lay on so she can walk by your entire screen and grace us with her presence. This thing, this thing right here, because she is sleeping next to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Nidalee. She is kind of part of the stream. She has her own little cat cam. Um... Mm-hmm. So when she get a green mat for that? She doesn't have a green mat at the moment. She does actually have her own green screen that is behind her uh, little cat scratcher bed thing. Um, and she seems to like that. Um, if that's a thing, I will I will do it, I guess. I, having I, your sleep I would just, on. I would just throw a blanket over a board and say, there you go. You can just walk across. <laughs> the <It's> like, <laughs> green, green blankets work great. I'm cheap, though, so that's me. <laughs> So, Seriously. so coming soon is the answer. Coming soon is the answer to that. Coming one. Right. soon. Mm-hmm. Yes. So next question is for Shiner. Uh, Asian Glow <laughs> says, when are you going to have a mod appreciation day and reward your awesome mods, Kappa? Oh, no shit. pressure. Tomorrow. No. <laughs> I, I, I love my mods. My mods are the greatest. Mm-hmm. Um, I have really, really, really great mods. Um, I feel like, I don't know, if I, if I never say it enough, uh, uh, Nax, Glow, um, uh, Drunk Pack, Ichiru, uh, God, all the all the test gaming dudes. Uh, I have really, really, really good mods. Mm-hmm. I love them uh, all to the hell. Um, I wish I, I wish I could do more. I wish I, I mean I should do more, and I should probably put them on my payroll. But mm-hmm. I don't get a lot of money, <laughs> so uh, no. I really I really appreciate them uh, every day. So, so the appreciation day is is coming mm-hmm. soon too. So <laughs> you know TM. you know how good like Glow is. Oh yeah, Glow is like. Well, I know she's asking amazing. that too because I said the 29th of this month is Mod Appreciation Day for for my channel. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, so, so you're <laughs> way, way to way to go, way to throw us under the bus, Matashi. I didn't know there were 
were gonna yeah, unionize. I, get it. I, I get didn't it. know what was gonna happen. This union mod stuff's gotta stop. We gotta break mm -hmm. the mod union. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's going that way. Well, yeah, uh, like you know what? I'm you know what? All all my mods are gonna get personal back massages because that's not gonna be creepy. Oh my god. Mm, not creepy at all. <laughs> not creepy at all. I, I hate to see where this is going because I have to one up you then, you know, and that's gonna be even worse. So it's like, like foot massages. I, I hope it ends there. We'll you know what? See. Every, you know what? All my mods <laughs> are gonna get are gonna are gonna get baskets from Bed Bath and Beyond. And I, yeah. mm -hmm. mm. Oh I, I, man. I'm gonna have to knit them socks. They'll all get personalized go. socks from that. So oh, space, space pro socks. Space pro socks. Mm-hmm. Have to get them. I want <laughs> all right. You're not gonna eat that, are you, Ruth? No, I'm not gonna okay. eat it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I thought this is gonna but, become one uh, of those. George, Do we go social eating all of a sudden in the middle of this episode? Three. Social, social challenge eating. It's like I'm gonna eat the cat food. Let me go grab the dog food. Let's go. It's like mm -hmm. this is actually a thing in my chat. X my short treat. Nedley gets a little treat, and so I'm. Oh. I will live up to that. Wherever, oh wherever I am, she will always get a treat. Fat cat. Too bad there's not one like that for me. I want explanation mark treat for me. I know, right? For me. <laughs> it's just like, you know, explanation mark pizza, ding dong. Papa John shows up. <laughs> like, all right. I like this new mod. This is great. Exclamation so, mark beer? That'd be fucking yeah, beer, fantastic. Like, I'd be you know, super happy. <laughs> I'm just good with fresh ice because I got the Captain Morgan. I just make my own right here. Just get fresh ice. <laughs> There's like ice comes. And it's like, that's it. It's perfect. <laughs> Actually, I did scoop the snow off the window the other day because it's right here. I'm on the second floor. It just goes snow, ice, you know, lazy. I've had like two feet of snow for like two weeks. I am so mm. done with weather and winter. Weather, oh my she God. is done with you. You can just go take a hike, weather. Go fucking figure out yourself. Decide what you want to be. I don't give a shit, but don't keep changing on me. That's all I got to say. That shifty weather. God. Seriously. Shifty, shifty weather. <laughs> all right. So, and we have one last question here on the question list we're going to go with, and that is from uh, Vad Vaderil, I think, or Vadril. Or I'm screwing up your name, but that's the way it goes. We'll call you Vad because I'm, I'm terrible. Beyond three letters, I'm lost, guys. I just am. That's just the way it works. <laughs> what advice would you give for backers to pay attention to from CIG for 2017? So what should backers be looking out from CIG for 2017, basically? What, what should we be watching out for? I would I would think go that... Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and speak first. Um, <laughs> CitizenCon, they lined out a pretty good roadmap of what they're going to be doing um, I believe, in my opinion, don't take my word for this, but in my opinion, 3.0 will be probably early spring, um, around that era, um, or, or maybe even a little bit of late spring, but somewhere in there. So we got a couple <laughs> months where uh, 3.0 is going to be released. We're going to be seeing a lot of stuff there. Um, but yeah, just be looking out for that kind of stuff. If you're a subscriber, uh, that's great. Um, I mean, I get emails from Star Citizen all the time about the stuff that they're working on. But the roadmap that was released at CitizenCon um, was actually really good information. There's not, like, any dates on it, which is okay with me. Um, I've made up dates in my head, I will say, of, like, when that stuff's going to get released. I won't share all of them. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, just kind of keep in tune. I mean, honestly, between Twitter and all that kind of stuff, uh, Tyler Wiggins, they they really do keep us informed, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yep. Moon, what do you think? What should they be watching out for? Uh, what's, uh, what's something follow for? Sandy Gardner on Twitter. Sandy Gardner is always taking photos of people's monitors. It's, you know, if if you're in it, like we're in it, like like with the like the way we're in it. Um, watch or like around the first reverse the verse. Eh. Around the verses are always great. Um, but again, follow like certain people on Twitter. I mean, Sandy is always dropping like the most awesome photos. Uh, it's like you're like, oh my god, I didn't know, like I didn't know like this like where we're at. Do we know if it's Follow really Sandy. Sandy taking these pictures? Mm, probably. She's smart. I, I, I could picture her having an assistant do that for her. It's like take a picture of this. Mm, no. no, she's like walking up. She's just she's on her phone and she goes, oh hey look at that. That's what she's doing. <laughs> and then and, and then. That, <laughs> And and, and, because, and because she's like because she's like Chris's wife like NDA meh 
It's yeah, okay. whatever. Like, I can do what I want to do. I'll do what yeah, I want. I can see that. And, and and it's great. So I mean, uh, definitely follow her. Uh, get into it. Like watch. Like you know, if if you're like one of these people, like there's so many people who get like really upset. Like you know, I backed the game back in 2013, and like they'll come into your chat. You probably see them all the time. Like, can mm-hmm. you tell me like what's going on? It's like. Sure, it's probably like it's it's a lot to tell a person like oh you know go watch like their weekly series and stuff like that, but around the reverse it really does kind of like keep you up to date on like, you know on what's going on like the, the current state of the game this is where we're at even if it's like, you know even if it's like you know weekly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And all mm-hmm. this stuff is like public information. Even being a subscriber, like we get a couple perks, but. Their streams, their stuff that released out on YouTube, their emails. That is stuff that anyone yeah. can get. And it really does line out like the stuff that they were well, working on. And I can say that, you know, like we've talked about before, and I always tell my chat as far as following the game and everything, some people are not built for following game development. Some people don't want to follow week to week and, you know, feel like they've been carroted. It's like, oh, it's coming. Don't worry. Come just follow the carrot and all that stuff. You know, and we're all like, <laughs> oh. I'll give you a little more. Some people still want Star Citizen. They just don't want to follow the week development. For those people, I say, don't watch it. Don't follow the development. Buy your package. Yeah. Buy your package. Mm-hmm. Spend your 60 bucks. Look at it like it's a nice long pre-order. When you hear about something coming in the game that you might want to try, jump on. If not, don't mess with it. Don't look at it. Go play something else. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, obviously, support the game. We want to do that sort of things there. But... Uh, in the end, it's it's a take take what you want from it. You know, my friends, mm-hmm. I have friends that play the alpha. I have friends that won't touch the alpha until it's down the road quite a ways. And I say there's no wrong way to approach that. Just don't follow it so closely you get frustrated. Take it in doses mm-hmm. of what you can. Enjoy that. I love logging on every day and talking to my chat. And I love logging on every day and dicking around in space and, and messing around with Star Marine now and all these things. I love that. Mm-hmm. Some it's people, true. some people hate that shit. Some people are like, "This is all I can do," and I'm like, "Yeah, all you can do is fly around, you know, like two million <laughs> kilometers of space, have fun with your bros, shoot each in the face, test out game mechanics, explore all place, and do something that you can't do in any other alpha that I've ever played in my life." But if that's not enough, which it's fine if it's not, don't play it. Yeah, that's it. It's easy peasy. I do know? feel like I know there's a lot of people that are have access to you know 2.6 or the early alpha kind of stage mm-hmm. i do kind of feel like we're in like the secret society like mm-hmm. i gotta say there's people that are like they say like oh yeah yeah i love gaming i love this mm-hmm. this and this kind of game and then you're like oh have you heard of star citizen and all of a sudden they're like no what is this uh what oh, is this star citizen you, you speak you of? don't have your special you're like, robe i can't i can't tell you about it you i know it, it just kind of feels even then, I know there's a lot of people that are in Star Citizen, but even then, it kind of feels like a little, a little secret society, and you kind of feel mm-hmm. like, all right, I can uh, actually tell this person a little bit about Star Citizen. It kind of feels nice, like it's like it's cool, it's fun, yeah. and I love being part of this community because it is exactly like that. It's just, it's fun. It's a fun community. Yep. Yeah, I rated a Eve Online player the other day, and he was like, "Oh yeah, Star Citizen, you know, uh, yeah, I heard it's gonna be really theme parky though." And I was like, "What?" Yeah, I was, <laughs> like, I was like, "Do you not have you followed?" He's like, "But I'm just saying that I haven't really researched it all or anything." I'm like, "Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, so we got not at all." But, yeah, I was like, "I'm sorry, but somewhere else, Chris so I- Robert <laughs> cares yeah. too much about the fidelity." Well, I mean, of I don't the know thing. how he defines a theme park. I mean, you know, is <laughs> it, is he talking too. about is he talking about like a Worlds of Fun or by me or Six Flags, or are you talking about Disney World theme park? I mean, there's like, yeah. you know. This I don't know, but either way, it's you know it's one of those things. People's perceptions of games are going to be what they want. You can't force it on somebody. All I do is I tell them so your people. I just go, oh, oh, what are you doing? I'm just I'm painting this fence. Oh no, it's really fun. No, you don't have to. That's cool. The Tom no, I'm Sawyer. Just keep it, yeah, that's Tom <laughs> Sawyer. You know, read Tom Sawyer. It's like paint the fence all this stuff. So I just sit there and play the game. And I'm like, no, that's cool, dude. Yeah. Don't you don't want any of this. Don't you can go ahead and go. You don't fun. want any of this. And they're like, but it looks cool. No, you don't want this stuff. Mm-mm. But but I got money. No, no, no. Don't get any of it. Don't no. don't buy it. This is all just for me. My game they're <laughs> developing. That's it. And then they just go, well, maybe I'll just try a little bit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the gateway buy right there. So and then you got them locked. 
right. And it's good. <laughs> so because let's oh, be honest, man. if I want to be selfish, I want you all to buy as much shit in Star Citizen as I possibly can because it's going to make my game get built better and faster. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if you got a blank checkbook, just throw all your cash at Chris Roberts on the screen because, you know, I want my yeah. game. I want my game. Give him 300, 400 million. I don't give a fuck. Just give him whatever. <laughs> but as a responsible streamer and advisor, when you ask me honestly, I say, if you don't like what you see, don't fucking get it. Just don't. Not yet. Just keep an eye on it, though, because it's going to be hot. Exactly. It, the thing is, is like mm -hmm. if you're used to a game that is finished yep. or you play the main titles, games that are out or just released, mm -hmm. then just hold off a little bit. Like this game compared to other games, this is very early mm -hmm. alpha. And if you jump in there and expecting all this stuff um, because you've heard about it, just don't. Don't do that. Just wait till it's finished. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff they're still testing. And if you don't have the patience or whatever to just wait through all of that, it's probably just best to just hold off until you until it's uh you know close mm -hmm. to being ready or they've said, All right, here's the game. We are gonna release it. <clears throat> this is this is the star citizen that we know of. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It's never gonna be done. But speaking of things that are never done outside of this podcast. We do have one one last <laughs> thing that we have had a couple of people uh, wanting to be addressed, and I figured since everybody's here, we are going to get away give away a ten dollar gift card here in a moment. But first, I want oh, wow. to give Moonshiner a moment here because we had Master Picks and a couple other people that are still asking about uh, the wardrobe and whatnot's going on. So if if you want to, you know, we talked a little bit about the show. I didn't want to put Moon on the spot, but mm -hmm. I figured rather than address it all the time through the whole episode, like I see people yeah. do do them on. His show, I was like, let's just wait. We'll pull the questions, and then mm -hmm. you can address it now if you'd like. So, yeah. So the uh, the what happened to Moonshiners, um, and or like did uh, did Moonshiners like lose a bet? Okay. Um, again. Uh, all right. So um, last Thursday, last Thursday, uh, I came out to my stream as trans, um, transgender, transsexual, whatever blanket term they use um yeah so like this is me this is me like in my life um for like the last like 30 some odd years this has been me um i was kind of like you know so like I, I started transitioning in my life um it's it's something that's happening uh the whole thing with the diva cosplay was kind of like a way to test the waters and see how twitch the Twitch community would handle it, and um, I mean, honestly, it's really been like super positive. It's it was scary. It was really scary. Uh, I was like, how are gamers gonna like relate to this or be okay with this? And honestly, uh, um, it's been ninety nine percent positive, with like with like a yeah. tremendous amount of support and love uh, <laughs> from from the viewers and uh, my friends. Uh, you, you know, you you two, um, uh, Matachi and Rue. Um, my mods have been like had my back. Test Squadron has had my back like 100%. Um, you know, Test Gaming had my my back 100%. Uh, so like uh, just a tremendous amount of love uh, from from like from really everybody and like just like a lot of support. Uh, so yeah, I didn't lose a bet. If, mm -hmm. if 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 the bet was ever to like here, mm -hmm. you have to transition to being a woman for the rest of your life and like go through like crazy like you know taking hormones and having surgeries. It's like, don't take that bet. Don't take that bet. <laughs> uh, I wish it was something like I didn't have to do, but they say like, you know, it, it's it's the one thing in life. Like depression is weird, but like you know, if you this is like die, you know, this this has like a treatment. The treatment is like usually just transition and. So like that's like what I'm doing. It's yep. so like if I if, if I look prettier than normal, who knows? Maybe some people are like, oh, I mean, like I'm still me. Like I'm yeah. still the same person. I just I just look I just look like this now. Um. So uh, yeah. It's um. It's been it's been a you know interesting week. Again, uh, a crazy amount of support, uh, from like everybody. Um, you know, there's been like a like a. a a little bit of pushback but like honestly but like it's it's, it's like the point where it's like the the point zero 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 two percent uh mm -hmm. and just like you know hundreds and thousands of people have just been like uh super supportive 
and uh, I really couldn't be uh, more thankful to that. And, uh, do you, th- do you like, think? Do you think know, more I'm people a- were surprised, Moon, than than probably like any any pushback by that? Have you seen a lot of people's reaction? They're just surprised I feel like them, yeah, yeah, it's a lot, lot, lot of surprise. I okay. mean, I think like maybe not like people with like the whole diva thing, and then people yeah. were like, you know, your makeup's like really too good for like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like your makeup was just too good for it to be like, you know, just like, you know, like, oh, he's he's just like doing like a thing. It's like, mm, uh, he's yeah, that, she's doing something a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, it was like a little bit of a surprise. And some people are like, what's going on here? And and sure, like, I mean, like, I get it. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's not like something like a lot of people go through in their lives. Um, but if there's something, you know, if you can do it and it'll make you feel better yep and like it's it's you know it's it's positive and stuff like that and, th- and it is and i, so I like, think that's you know. that's like most of i know from my perspective it's like you know i love and support you regardless you know mm-hmm. stuff because you're still moon it doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't matter about anything else to me it's like a person's a person um and you know you've always been there for me when nobody else was available to be on the show you'd made a point to be here for me as a friend Mm -hmm. and i appreciate that and i'm gonna make sure me and the rest of bros are here for you all the time and stuff and i am so happy that this gaming community is the way it is because i think Mm -hmm. in our environment yep it would have been a whole different ball game but i think it's really related to star citizen the type of people mature adults that we have backing this game and doing these things and i think that's really awesome so uh, you know, much love to you. And if you need anything at all, just always, always ask and stuff. And mm-hmm. we're here to support you and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, I was, I, I was a little surprised. I'll say I was a little surprised. But I was like, mm-hmm. you know, after after y- you said it, I was like, well, it kind of makes sense, I guess. You know, now with the diva thing and all that. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, it's like I don't know. I guess the older I get, I get less judgmental. I don't know if that's normal or not. Maybe there's something. Wrong I think we're, I'm, like, I'm, I'm very lucky. <laughs> it's it's like it's this time. You know, like things are a little bit more accepting. I mean, it's it's yeah. we're really lucky, and I love and, and this is not just to, but to like to the guys who are like watching in in chat and stuff like that. Like, thank you so much for like having my back one hundred percent through this. I know this isn't like, um, this was probably weird, but like I really do like love you guys so much. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, as a community, Star Citizen means a lot to like a lot of people. Like, you know, like we're very passionate about the game. And but even for like as streamers and like you know, uh, we've we've always had like each other's backs. Like yeah, it's for, like you know the whole thing. The it's podcast, like a family like, we all, here. Yeah. It, it is, is a family. Like yeah. it's 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 an extended family. Mm-hmm. Like you know, <laughs> you guys are my close friends, and you know, I, I really couldn't be um, more happy that like I that, that 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 this happened and like the way it did. And I'm happy that it's within Star Citizen, like not in Star Citizen. But like it's it's the community that, yeah. that that's within the community, it. yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So well, that's good. Well, I mean, you know, like, guys. yeah. The thing is, is like, as a viewer of your stream for a while, like, I feel happy knowing that you're happy and comfortable in mm-hmm. what you want to be. Like, that's okay with me. Like, I love that part, and um, you know, like the fact that you might have been a little bit nervous or scared about that transition, I think, you know, making that leap was huge and I totally respect that. Yeah. And even now it's like, Thank you. you know what, Mushan is like, it's, I'm happy for you that you can now feel like you are yourself. Like this is what you've yeah. been. And, mm-hmm. uh, that's awesome. Yeah. And I, I also got to say to add to that, I got to respect the f- fact too, because, you know, not saying about anybody else's challenges in their life and stuff, but I've seen a lot of streamers use, challenges in their life or anything like that to in order to project themselves on stream and do all that stuff and your streams remain 100 yeah. percent focus on the game you know and you yeah. like to keep it about the game not mm-hmm. necessarily about yourself and i love that about the fact yeah that was he gonna turn up. was he gonna start turning it into like here's like well, here's like my you know, irl like makeup well, stream like i'm I, not gonna start changing my content i know it's, i know but you see i've seen <laughs> so many i've seen so many, seen so many other face. content creators do that stuff and i got a lot of respect for you mm-hmm. for not only Maintain that friendship and Shane is doing makeup stream. What stuff. the hell? Yeah, I'm like, it's like give it two months. It's like now it's the makeover stream with Shiner. Oh so, my god! Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm yeah. saying. But it's it's really good that you didn't you didn't go that route with it, you know, and stuff. And it's it's well, really cool and stuff. So I, you know, I just I just I want things to stay the same. Yeah. Um, how I look is different, 
but like you know i you know i love this game i love star yeah. i am super enthusiastic about it i have spent a crazy amount of money in this game <laughs> yeah. uh i you know um it's you know i i I, lo- I love this community i love like our you know the friendships that we've made like hanging out at bar citizens and citizen cons and here on twitch and in discord's channels having like conversations to like five o'clock in the morning oh yeah about, you know what weapons should go on like on like what ship <laughs> about and, stuff like, that doesn't even meta? exist yet yeah, it's I, really know. yeah. I love all of that spaceships yeah. mm-hmm. Seriously. i just yeah. this was just something that was part of like my real life that i couldn't hide anymore it was yeah. like like i didn't want to be like in like six months and be like you know shiner your your eyebrows are like on fleek and like you got yeah. really big boobs and it's like yeah. um uh, so let me tell you about that really quick so let me t- <laughs> yeah like I, I, it was like it was just something like i couldn't like i can like not address and i had to come out about it because yeah. it was it, it's a thing like in your life like i didn't want to like you don't want to like put it off and you like and you become you become yeah. part of this and you become part of this community like how do you not tell like your friends and your family like and this yeah. is like my friends and family so it's like yeah, yeah, and I and I, you know I I started uh, I was wondering too. Um, did did you like continue with uh, the diva thing because like you felt um, was that like just a stopgap because you wanted to do this but you wanted to be able to tell everybody the truth and everything and you felt more comfortable as diva than you did mm, hiding. The it was a way to like a in in a way it was like how do you think how do you think you know the viewers how do you think the community is going to handle it yeah how do you think they're going to take it so like it was like it was this thing that the like, waters right it was, it, was, it was a way to like test the waters of like so what do you think of me like looking like a girl uh <laughs> totally different than like oh yeah i'm actually going to trans you know transition to like to try and you know to be a woman um like that's not like uh like exactly the same but it was it was it was like a weird like way to Kind of just test the waters, like you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it was. Well, I'm I'm glad you're more comfortable now because I can't mm-hmm. imagine trying to like hide that and and kind of you know keep it under. I haven't felt more comfortable. I haven't felt happier. Yeah. Uh, in a long time, it's yeah. like it's nice to like finally be like in your skin. Yeah. And you you know like in Rue and Matachi, you get this like, you know, people appreciate honesty. Yeah. And like, you know, like in like whether like you're given like whether like you're whether you love the game so much that like you give like, you know, like you're kind of like a shill and like like I love this game so much like I just like be honest. Mm-hmm. Tell them like that yeah, that's how much you yeah. love the game. So like you kinda of, like look past like the or like or you're so honest that like you critique it. Like either mm-hmm. like, you know, they, they oh, want absolutely. like they want like they want like the uh, your honest opinion. Yeah. And like it's all about being honest and like, you know, how can you how could I be me and like hold something back and like where like you know yeah everybody everybody in my life knows except for like the people who are like really 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 important to me and that's like like it was, think... it was one thing to like for like friends and family yeah you know it was like a super crazy burden for like for like you know to tell like hundreds of people yeah it was like you know yeah, so, I don't know. A little, little wider think... audience there, huh? So, <laughs> mm-hmm. a little, little wider audience. And but... like, this is the internet, okay? Yeah. Twitch mm-hmm. is on the internet. Like, the thing is, is like, the internet is known for trolls, so that is already like a challenge, right? Mm-hmm. On top of that, and then the good thing is, is this community is really supportive of whatever, mm-hmm. and and that's what I like so much about so you wouldn't find this in um, Battlefield 1 okay if you join no. any kind of Battlefield yeah, 1 so see us no you're not <laughs> yeah. you're not going to see that no but um, i mean that's it's really awesome i just wanted to give you the moment to to go through and and kind of you know explain that and stuff like that mm-hmm. and i'm i'm sure it's going to come up again cuz like we talked about before the show we got viewers that come in once a week once a day once a month and you know people are just kind of making the adjustment to to realizing what's going on with with not only the game every time, but some of their favorite streamers like you. So I'm, I just want to kind of preach on like everybody just, you know, continue showing all the love and support and stuff for Moonshiners and, you know, keep doing what you're doing, guys. And Moon, you keep Thank doing you what you're doing. And it's My it's lives. been awesome. Uh, Rue 
you're awesome for for coming on the show and uh you know hanging out with us and doing all this stuff and uh, i hope to have you both back but we're gonna draw a gift card giveaway real quick for one lucky person inside the chat uh we only had 56 people enter so far so i'll give you another moment if you haven't entered yet is explanation mark space bros in chat to get into this ten dollar star citizen gift card giveaway guys so spam the chat get in there real quick we'll give them because there'll be a 30 second delay we'll let them do that and then uh yeah. we'll we'll pull this here in just about two minutes for one lucky viewer you will have to follow both Roo smash and moonshiners if you want to win if you aren't following all three channels you do not win the card so please make sure you're doing that as well so we'll give you five minutes because i know nobody's followed me and they've all followed you guys so we had a secret we have Bobby a visitor card. hi bud hi hi <laughs> we're gonna give away a gift card a ten dollar gift card okay okay <laughs> all right so you can hang out here with me for a minute oh my gosh you're getting so big buddy he has had his fifth birthday so yeah yeah Aww. Happy so, birthday. Yeah. So we can see all the Bobby emotes going off in chat. Yeah. There's all the Bobbies. <laughs> all so, the Bobbies. All the Bobbies. Wild Bobby appeared. So guys, been there. yeah, we already went up to 77 in there. You see him right here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what what else you guys got going on? You said you got, new, you got your new. Are you doing your, what day do your podcast on, Rue? They will be Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. West then, Coast. You guys are hoarding up all my podcast time. I'm going to have to pick up new days like that. And then, Moon, you got yours on Mondays. Yep. Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, you guys are going to have to get um, a slide rule for this shit. It's like math and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Seriously. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? Oh, that's it. Oh. Does that look like Daddy's old joystick? Yeah. Yeah. See, proof. The old thing you see in the the Logitech <laughs> 3D. He's like, oh, that's your joystick I play he with knows. in the garage because you don't play with that yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You need for boy power. <laughs> yes. Yes, buddy. All right. So we got seventy-seven. Oh, just seventy-seven. Nobody else wants a ten-dollar gift card. Well, I'll close it here in a minute. Make sure again, guys. You are following. All three streams, because we will check that are actually Asian Glow will probably check it all for us before we can even figure out how to manage our own bots. Because she's that good. You like the haircut? His mom <laughs> hated this haircut. So it's like, no, you bull cut him. And it's like grandma <laughs> took him up and got him uh cut there. But he looks super <laughs> handsome, don't you, bud? Yeah. I'm super kinda handsome. jealous of the of the red hair. I've actually always loved the the red yeah. hair. So your hair matches part of my chin. The other part's got gray in it, though. <laughs> That's all your fault, too, though. All right. <laughs> Let's close this down. Are you going to help me draw the winner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for not yelling in the microphone and blowing Daddy's ears out. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's like really close to it. Like, this is like danger zone side for him. <laughs> now he's got the ornery face on. I can already tell. All right, guys. We're going to draw this thing down in three, two, one. Well, it looks like it's night one Kai. Wow. Kai. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Nice. So. Is he following? Do you know if he's following you guys? I think Night Kai's following. I know, um, I know Night yeah, Kai. Let's see. Let me check really quick. I think we'll, he's we'll following. We're checking. Yep. Asian Glow's checking. Asian Glow will check out for everybody because she knows how to hack mm. your guys' stuff and get in there and do it all. Following both. Perfect. And Night is go. a sub Sweet. in the channel. So mm -hmm. you have won a $10 gift card. So we'll send you a message job, to get that stuff and, and doing all that stuff. So, yeah. So, guys, awesome. what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to you all. I am going to take a brief break. I am going to come back and do some strumming, though, because it's my Woo! stream time, right? Yeah, and Mama's asleep. Uh-huh, and Mama's asleep. So do I need to tuck you in bed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will tuck you in bed first. So we're going to do the, the Bobby tuck-in <laughs> story time, so we'll have a small delay, and then we'll be right back. So we'll do that thing. So, guys, again, Moonshiners, Rue, thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you. Guys, don't just follow them. Make sure you go check them out when they're live 
and uh, give them some love on the shows. And we will see Again, all thank you, you Matashi, yeah. for having us on. That's Anytime. great. Thank you. Anytime. I really appreciate it. Yep. And so, guys, again, we're going to go away for a little bit. We'll be back. I am going to end the stream, though, because I do have to take some Bobby time. And then uh, I'll be back on the air here in a little bit. And we'll have some more giveaways, some more awesomeness, and more Star Citizen for you. So we'll see you all later. Have a Bye, great night. Oh, seven, chat. Oh, sevens. Oh, sevens to everybody. <laughs> <laughs>